jump. Climb out on the roof, just jump, motherfucker. You a lazy little shit. Why not jump and just fucking quit? It's your own fault, boy. You never did enough, and now you're gonna pay for the fucking shit you say. Victim blaming, mental shaming, always bitching 'cause I'm gaming. But this shit now I'm proclaiming, and I'm aiming for the house of lies that you built on the hill. Of the dagger that you staggered my ass with, now you haggard. I'm so aggro, call your fucking son a faggot. Why so ragged? You a maggot? See a dollar and just grab it from the mouth of the starving reprobate. So much hate, bitch. I needed an escape from the rape of my sanity. Humanity is drained from my motherfucking corpse as I hit the fucking dirt. All the fucking hurt and the shit I can't recall. With me, all the shame and the failure. I'm a terror. Fuck my mirror. Time to fix this fucking error. Yeah, I'm the bearer of this shit, and I wear it on my wrist. Now it's time to cut it out and just grow the fuck up. In my mirror, it's a vision that I see of myself. Damn, I'm looking like my father. So why even bother? I'll die for my mother. So I'll never treat another the way that he fucked her. I'll break Break this damn cycle and jump, 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 motherfucker! Jump, 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 motherfucker! Just jump, 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 motherfucker! Jump, 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 motherfucker! When there's evil in my heart and there's Satan in my veins, I'm insane. Best get stitches in my brain or a cane, 'cause I can't fucking stand on my own two feet. Feet is my only fucking path. I'm a retreat. Can't rest until my brain hits the concrete. Fuck you. I'm just tired of this DC and these lies that you fucking spew and the shit you put me through and the shit you fucking do. But sometimes I just wonder if the shit you say is true. I'm just so damn rude and irresponsible to boot and. The fucking reason Mama's caught in her wrist open. I just see too much, play too much, got some shit to say too much. Never clean my cage. I must. Such a fuss. Boy, don't cuss. I'ma fucking take your trust. Give to God and make it rust. Time to bust. Mustn't lust. Gonna leave you in the dust. Live a life that's unjust. Into hell you will be thrust. Satan is your just reward. You don't get a fucking sword. All the time you won't be bored. Only flames just rust to short. When my warnings you've ignored, you'll be punished by the Lord. Cast aside you are abhorred. Grace will never be restored. Jump, 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 motherfucker. Jump, 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 motherfucker. Just jump, 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 motherfucker. Jump, 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 motherfucker. Just jump. Jump, jump, motherfucker! Jump, 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 motherfucker! Just jump, 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 motherfucker! Jump, jump, jump. What up, y'all? Welcome. Welcome to the Hopium Den. How the fuck's everyone doing tonight, yo? Awesome white screen, I know, right? My buddy Tav made it. Hell's yeah! How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. 
Welcome, FML. Welcome, uh, Always Looking at Self. Welcome, uh, Evan T. Welcome, Mi Mickey Richards. And uh, welcome to the Satirical Rabbit. And everyone else out there. Hope y'all are having a dope fucking evening, yo. I know I am. <laughs> What's good? What's good in the hood? Hells yeah. This ta this tav sounds pretty uh pretty fucking cool and sexy as fuck. Yeah, dude. This tav. Yeah. Almost as cool and sexy as his brother, but not nah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a bad joke. I love you. I'm sorry. That that's that's a mean joke. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are fucking awesome. Hells yeah. Whew. Hope everyone's having a good fucking night, yo. Um. What up, Drew Statton? Or Stratton? What up? What up, Chess? How the fuck is everyone doing this fine evening? Hells yeah. Let's, uh, here, wait. All right. All right. I'm gonna remind everyone, right? Chat rules. Chat fucking rules. All right. I know I've been accused of uh, <laughs> stealing these chat rules and, and being super unoriginal, but uh, hey, rules are important, okay? And not all rules are going to be the most fucking original, but hey, these are the rules. If you want to if, if participate in the chat, you must follow these rules, all right? They're not hard. They're not fucking hard. <laughs> I was thinking of stealing your rules. Well, you're gonna have to ask Paul first, cause uh, yeah, he has a he has a patent on uh, putting rules in your chat. Ah, okay. Whew. How's everyone doing? How the heck's everyone doing, yo? Hope, uh, hope there's enough hopium to go around with all the fucking negativity out there, yo. All the goddamn negativity. Ooh. Wait, real, wait. Dude, I kind of look at this. Wait, where's the... Apparently Dragon Quest is, like, announcing a bunch of games right now. Damn. They're doing a, a fuck, dude, an HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3. That's fucking dope. Dragon Quest 3 is a good game. Finally, Dragon Quest uh, 12 is coming. That looks dope. I like Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is a good series. Yeah, I'll look at these in a little bit when, because I th I think there's a a show going, uh, or there's some kind of like event going on right now where they're like announcing all the games. <laughs> COVID cases are down ninety percent. Dope, dope. Fuck COVID. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I started a little bit late. I meant to uh. I meant to start earlier. I've, been, I've just been kind of slow today, guys. I've been kind of uh, taking it slow. i dealing with some shit. <sighs> I'm also not looking forward to tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm going to get my COVID shot. And um, 
I don't like getting shots, all right? I really hate getting shots. It's like my least favorite thing in the world. <sighs> Fucking, uh... Yeah, Chess is not having fun. She just got her second shot. Is it the first? I'm in my first one tomorrow, so... Yeah, I'm not excited about that at all because I know I'm going to hate getting the first one and I'm going to hate getting the second one, but hey, whatever. At least it'll be over with. At least it will be fucking over with. It was so easy easy for me. Uh, did not even think they started it and it was done. Barely felt it. Well, I hope that's the case with me. I hope it's uh, it's quick. It's quick. <laughs> I'm not a needle person, guys. I've, ne I've never enjoyed needles. I've, uh... Dude, even, even when I was, like, in, in, uh... In my most, uh, uh, uh... In, in, in my most, uh, uh, uh drug... Uh, uh, fueled, uh, days. You know, where I, I would, I would, I was super into, like, drugs and shit. I, I, I was, like, the one thing I'm never gonna do. Fuck heroin. Fuck heroin, okay? I don't give a shit... How goddamn good you say it is. I am not trying heroin, all right? I'm not I'm not shooting up. I'm not shooting up, all right? I don't care if it is the most fucking amazing euphoric fucking uh, uh feeling on the goddamn planet. Yeah, that that's my line. Nope. If I got to stick a needle in my arm for it, it's not worth it. It's not fucking worth it. <sighs> what up, Jarn? What up uh what up, everybody? What up, Skeptical Jesus? Needle part was easy, but now my damn arm is sore. Yeah, yeah. You can smoke heroin? Oh, really? Damn, oh, well. <laughs> the one thing keeping me from doing heroin. All right, come on, let's uh, let's go do it. No. I definitely wouldn't. I'm not, I'm not interested in that heroin shit, yo. There is no part of me that wants to try heroin. <sighs> Not good. Not good. Yes, you worked as a phlebotomist, so needles never bothered you, all right? I am not a phlebotomist, and I... <sighs> I don't know why. I've always had, like, a fear of needles since I was a kid and my dad didn't help because like growing up, like I, I would go to like the doctor's office with my dad and I'd see my dad freaking out and having like a fucking panic attack. And you know, then I'd have the fucking panic attack. And I don't know, ever since I was really young, I've just been fucking terrified of needles. They stress me out. Like I feel sick to my stomach at the thought of just getting one. Like, I've, there have been times when, I'm like, I know I'm about to get a needle and I've, like, thrown up. I, it's, it's, I don't like anxiety. Anxiety sucks. Having an anxiety disorder is fucking annoying. But, like, one of my, like, if I could get rid of any one fucking anxiety, any one fucking irrational fear, it would be, uh, needles. Because, holy fuck. Holy fuck. Most don't shoot up heroin until their addiction gets that bad. Damn. All right. Well, I... I, <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, no. I didn't know something. I guess I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. How many people are here? You know what? Okay. I'm going to address this, guys. I want to. I want to address something. And then I want to move on from it. And I don't want to hear about it again. Because I'm really, really, really goddamn sick of Paul's ego. I am, I am so done with his dishonest fucking bad faith, presumptuous bullshit. Oh, pride. No, we'll, we'll touch on that in a minute. Actually, you know what? Let me just fucking clarify my goddamn pride position first. And I'm not going to I'm not going to have any debate from the chat on this either cuz I'm I'm just not, I'm not I'm not interested in having this debate anymore. Pride, all right? 
No, I've not gone to Pride over the years. I've not, um, I've not been a huge, uh, 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 you know, Pride person. Um, I, uh, I was raised a, uh, evangelical, uh, 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 Christian, a, uh, uh, fundamentalist Christian, all right? Very anti-LGBT. But I have always been a trans person. I have lived the pain and oppression of growing up in a household where who you are is not only not talked about, but it's viewed as abhorrent. I've grown up living in a, in a fucking environment where I couldn't even reveal a hint of who I was. And that caused me to be very fucking, uh, well, very fucked up in a lot of ways. And I had some fucked up views of LGBT people. And, um, you know, honestly, growing up in a right-wing conservative Christian household, being taught that certain behaviors are degeneracy, it didn't help when I would look around and like, okay, we're th th these gay people, and I'd see them, and they were doing things that were associated with degeneracy. Now, I'm not saying I, I don't believe in degeneracy. I don't believe in it as a concept. I think it's ridiculous to call uh, uh, someone's sexual fetishes degeneracy, all right? I have no problem with kinks. Zero. In fact, I can be a little kinky myself sometimes. But as a young LGBTQ person, I was alienated by a lot of the queer culture. Because I looked at it, and it was not very accessible from the outside looking in. It was not very welcoming or inviting from the outside looking in. Especially growing up as sheltered as I was. And for a long fucking time, I looked at gay people and trans people, and I didn't even view them as people. I viewed them as something else. And again, the fact that, like, um, there's, there's certain elements to the culture that I don't think are problematic overall. I don't. But the fact that they're placed front and center in gay culture and queer culture, I think caricaturizes the idea of LGBT people in the minds of a lot of normies, in the minds of a lot of sheltered people who have never interacted with another gay person. I've been accused of not understanding the LGBTQ movement of not getting it. I've been accused by Paul Zigo of what? Jamie just became trans last year. And now she wants to talk about these things that she knows nothing about. I know plenty. I've experienced plenty. Plenty of goddamn oppression. I was bi openly for years. Before coming out as trans. And I had been shit on. For years. By many people. For being bi. I'd been told. I, I, I had to have my, my little sister fucking come to me. And tell me that I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell because I'm bi. Because that's what she was taught. I've had to deal with. With self-loathing and self-hatred. Because that's how I was taught to act and to think about my own goddamn people. So for someone to fucking come and tell me that I have no right to talk about these things. Because I just came out as trans. And before I came out as trans, I was fucking transphobic. When, again, this is stuff that I've been talking about lately. I've addressed a number of fucking times. 
Yes, I engaged in some transphobic bullshit. Yes, I've, uh, that's literally what Paul said, that I shouldn't be talking about this, that I should shut up and go read a fucking book after he went to great lengths calling me a stupid, an idiot, an empty-brained moron over and over. After I've been nothing but charitable to Paul. Even in response to his extremely bad faith attacks towards me. And I know what Paul's gonna... Oh, Jamie's yelling again. That doesn't work on me. I don't care. I'm not trying to fucking... This anger is not directed at Paul. I'm just... I, I don't care if Paul listens to this. Because quite frankly, when I'm done addressing this... I don't care to interact with Paul's ego ever again. Paul's ego is extremely fucking bad faith. Extremely. Paul's ego makes his opinions and assumptions based on emotion and conjecture. Paul's ego has formed every single fucking position that he has about me based on Baseless assumptions. Because at the end of the day, Paul doesn't fucking know shit about me. He doesn't. He's made some assumptions. He may have gotten some bad first impressions. And I've tried to not hold that against him. Because I was fucking cringe. But now that I'm, I'm working towards uh, bettering myself... Having more of my own opinions. Thinking for myself more. I get accused of being so dumb that I can't even come up with an opinion unless Vosh has it first. I don't need to tell those of you that watch me how ridiculous that is. I have plenty of goddamn opinions. I have plenty of of, uh, of, of, of shit to say that comes from no one but my own goddamn self. Paul's ego is extremely fucking uncharitable and he has been for a long fucking time. I'm, I'm, I, I was, I was always a TJ sycophant and what I was a TJ sycophant. Okay. But that doesn't mean I didn't have my own opinions. That doesn't mean I didn't fucking disagree with TJ from time to time. And again, if Paul knew goddamn anything about me, if he'd listened to my fucking segment yesterday for more than uh, 10, 15 minutes, and then be like, oh my god, this is so dumb. He would know that I... But I, I think I did, within the first 10-15 minutes of talking about that, uh, call out Vosh for, yeah, stop calling people pedophiles. Stop being so fucking hyperbolic. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay? God damn. I get Vosh's position. And I agree with it, in part. But we don't need to... Vosh is arguing against alienating people from pride while he's currently alienating people with his own argument. And like I said yesterday, that's fucking dumb. And I wish he wouldn't fucking do that. But oh, because I agree with the overall tone of what Vosh is saying, I don't have a goddamn opinion of my own. Let me fucking put it from my goddamn perspective. Because again, like I said, I grew up with certain upbringing with a certain view of what it means to be LGBT. And personally for me, as someone who has never been super uh, comfortable with my own sexuality, it's made it very fucking hard to go to events like Pride. Paul called out the fact that, I bet Jamie's never been to Pride once in her life. Which I fucking said yesterday, yeah, I, I haven't. But something I don't think I said yesterday, I, I actually had an ex who really wanted to go to Pride. 
She wanted me to go with her. And I I was kind of like, uh, oh, it doesn't sound fun. Because I'm not the kind of person that's super comfortable with people displaying their overt sexuality in front of me. I just, especially in public, it just it feels weird. It makes me feel uncomfortable. So I'm coming at this from the perspective of a kid that was, and I, I fully realize it might have to do with my upbringing. I was raised to feel uncomfortable by these things, but that's how I felt. And honestly, if pride wasn't so, uh, uh, front and center, at least where I came from, Okay. At least in fucking Toronto, where I, I'd seen, like, friends of mine had, like, showed pictures to, uh, of it. And I'm like, oh, here's us going last year. Oh, no, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I just look at it, and I'm just like, eh. I don't care if people want to express themselves a certain way. Feel free. People can wear all kinds of crazy fucking costumes. That's fine. All I said... All I said... All I fucking said was maybe let's keep the overt, explicit sexual nature. Let's keep the nudity in its own little corner. Have it at pride, but let the main event be accessible for everyone. I, guys, I'm not arguing with this. I'm not arguing with this. No, not just not at pride. Guys, let it be at pride. Let it be at pride all you fucking want. If Paul had goddamn fucking listened to me, what I said, I want it there. I just want it sectioned off. So people have the choice to, to, to see that or not. Because I like the fact that pride is becoming a more mainstream thing that everyone could go to. I like the fact that Gay acceptance is becoming more of a of a of, a, of of an open topic that we can all fucking we can all talk about. But I I don't like as an LGBT fucking person who doesn't feel as comfortable with the overt sexuality that some people display. I don't necessarily like being represented by people. Uh. uh being overtly sexual. It's it's been at the forefront of our culture. Don't go to pride then. Pride, no. Fuck you. Pride should be for everybody. Not just the fucking people who want to get naked. And run around the streets naked. Let there be... Let there be a section for that. And I, I goddamn swear. If one more person accuses me of not wanting that to be at pride. You're banned. I'm not timing you out. You're banned. It can be there. I don't think, and by the way, a lot of Pride events are actually doing just that. They're saying, okay, we're fine with this being here, but you know what, let's, let's take the focus off of it. Let's make it, make it a little more open to everyone. All right? Because there are young gay and trans people who don't know anything about this, who look at it from the outside and think it's kind of fucking weird. That's the perspective I'm coming from. I'm not coming from, oh, I agree with Vosh. Vosh said it, so it must be true. No. My God, you uncharitable fucking ass. I can't hear an argument from someone that resonates with me and think, yeah, he's actually got a fucking point. He's actually got a bit of a point. As a young LGBT person, I didn't feel welcome at those events. I'm not even saying, I'm, and by the way, this isn't even about kids. I'm not even going to address, oh, leave your kids at home. Leave your, oh, oh, I'm supposed to clean up my act because you had a baby. This isn't about the goddamn parents, you dishonest fucks. This is about the kids. This is about people who grew up like I did. Who looked at pride and thought, I don't know what this is. This is what being gay is? Okay, that's kind of weird. And by the way, I'm not even against, I realize why pride was the way it was for a time. I do. And I think it was important then. I think it's important now. 
to have a movement that instead of this is what being gay is and it's a bunch of people like, you know, in fetish gear acting overtly sexual in front of people that it's a movement that now uh, 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 and and if I by the way, I could even concede and say, OK, fine, it doesn't need to be pride. I'll start my own movement then. All I said is I don't disagree that, yeah, maybe it's a it's it's not a bad idea to clean it up. I don't have any uh, power to change what happens in Pride. And honestly, the shit I'm talking about, from what I've heard, I've talked to a number of people who have been to Pride. I was talking to someone earlier who's been to Pride in Seattle who said that's exactly what they're doing. They're making it a little more PC, not watering it down completely. Not as str as Paul uses the straw man, turning it into a place where where you can take Timmy to, to little Timmy to see the coke float and then get some rainbow cotton candy. No, people can still be fucking gay. They can still be flamboyant. They can still wear crazy fucking costumes. They can still fucking do that. But at the same time. Maybe, God fucking damn, have a little bit of a line. Oh, I'm tri fuck off. You're banned. Uh, I let's have a, a little bit of a line where we're like, yeah, let's not go super sexual with it. Paul also fucking, I, I love it. He he's talking as if this is somehow fundamental to what pride is. People in kink and fetish gear, we need this for pride to be a thing. Then he turns around and says, five seconds later, oh. You, you realize it's like the vast minority. Like, almost no one does this. Almost no one does it, but it's so fundamental to what pride is that if we maybe toned it down a little bit, not even get rid of it, tone it down a little bit, and not make it the full center focus, that it would somehow lose something? What are you talking about? You know, I really think Va Paul... uh uh betrays himself a little bit by accusing me of just taking this position because because Vosh took it. I think v Paul, honest, because I'm done being charitable with Paul. I am so done. I have been so charitable with Paul. I have given him the benefit of the doubt after benefit of the doubt. I, I'm done. I think maybe Paul is so vehemently against this point because someone he doesn't like, Vosh, made the point. So he has to fucking go super hard and attack anybody who fucking agrees with Vosh on this position. And since he already doesn't like me, he uses this as an excuse to once again, in bad faith, attack my character. Isn't it a bit problematic to make Pride PC? I'm not even saying making make it PC. I'm just saying take the adult content, the overtly sexually horny people that want to walk around with boners and say, you can come to Pride, but you should go over here. I mean, goddamn. Pride takes up fucking multiple streets in some cities where people live. Pride happens right outside of some people's windows in some cities. All I'm saying, let it be there, but let's not put such a huge fucking emphasis on the overt, open uh, public sexuality. That's it. They can move. You know, literally, um, I actually, so, I, 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 uh, a, a couple years ago, me and Chess were, were at a, living in a place in Buffalo where a pride parade was happening right outside our fucking house. It was happening right outside our fucking house. We didn't complain. I, I didn't really give a shit. We were sleeping most of the day because Chess works nights. You, you mad, bro? Go watch Paul's stream last night. Look who's mad and triggered, faggot. 
Sorry, I shouldn't have said the F slur, even though I'm bi. But I know someone's going to take that and twist it and be like, Oh my God, see? Jamie is, is homophobic. Yeah, get out of here. Shouldn't have used the F slur. I apologize. I am salty. I am a little goddamn salty. Heart, Teresa, and I appreciate you, ooh, you, heart. Thank you. Sorry, I, look, I'm a little annoyed. I am a little fucking annoyed. Who's this Z8 with a wrench? Who? Which of my wrenches changed their name? Please, please tell me. Is that one of my wrenches? Who the fuck are you? Why try to change a whole event? I'm not. You guys are acting like I'm pushing a movement to change pride. All I said is I don't disagree with Vosh. Why am I annoyed? Because fucking Paul's ego is a bad faith, spiteful fucking asshole. Because I'm fucking done. I'm done being charitable to a dipshit who refuses to ever give me the benefit of the doubt. Refuses to ever be a little bit fucking charitable with me. <laughs> fucking Paul saying, oh, Jamie's bad faith. Oh, no, J Jamie, Jamie shouldn't be talking about this because, hey, wasn't Jamie trans? Yeah, Paul literally called my fucking transness into question. <gasps> wasn't Jamie uh, uh, trans, uh, transphobic a, a, a year ago before she came out? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. <sighs> yeah, it's called internalized transphobia, dipshit called internalized fucking transphobia and again the 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 way that a lot of people in the lgbt because by the way y'all are saying oh i don't have a right to represent or change anything about this movement what what gives what gives other people the right to make the movement all about overt sexuality to say to 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 f people that know me, people that know me and and think I'm I might be gross because I'm trans, and then they go over there and they look at that and they think, uh, see, I knew it. Look at these degenerates again. I don't think it's degeneracy, and I don't want it to be viewed as degeneracy, and I don't want it to be banned. I don't want it to be, uh, uh fucking, yeah. Nobody has a right to have an opinion on it, guys. No one's allowed to have an opinion. You gotta fall in line. You gotta fucking fall in line. Holy fuck. Have a separate event. I, I'm not even against having a separate event. I'm not. I just don't disagree with the idea that since, hey, Pride is the mainstream one. It is the big one that everyone knows about. Let the main event be fucking acceptable to everyone. Oh my god. Guys, feel free to ban on site anyone who comes in and says triggered. Holy fuck. You guys are fucking... <laughs> Get... If you want to come in with criticism, criticize me. You want to come in and argue with me, argue with me. But if you're just going to come in and be like, Lol, you mad, bro? You mad? You triggered? Oh, oh, Paul wasn't triggered last night when he spent an hour ranting about me? When he spent an hour calling me a fucking brain-dead idiot? I'm triggered. I had an opinion that Paul disagrees with, and he spent an hour ranting about how dumb I am, and I'm triggered. Holy fuck. I think there's uh, so much hyperbole with this general discourse lately, and it's not nearly as much of a problem as people are insinuating. Oh no, I realize that too, Jalea. I realize that too. Um, no, uh, 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 honestly, 
Because, yeah, look, and, and I realize this too. A lot of those pictures that have been being pushed around be like, this is from Pride. They're not even from Pride. They're not even from Pride. G guys, mods, what are you doing? Where the fuck are my mods? <laughs> um, okay. There we go. There you go. Are you people literally coming out of Paul's community? Like, guys, I had someone from that, that clearly watched Paul because they parroted a lot of Paul's talking points. Fucking comment on my channel this morning and be like, you're a fucking fraud and you shouldn't be talking about this. And you're fucking, uh, you, you had a fake accent and you're fake. You're not even a real woman. Nice. Nice transphobia out, out of Paul's fucking community. Holy fuck. Triggered. 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 Paul's one of the most fucking bad faith triggered fucking dipshits on the face of the internet. No, I'm not parroting Vosh's talking. Do you know me? Do you watch me? Does Paul watch me? Paul doesn't fucking know me. And by the way, I love how Paul didn't care back when I was just par parroting his talking points. But now that I listen to someone else every once in a while, I'm, I, I can't think for myself. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was happening. I don't, I don't care. I've unsubbed from Paul. I've unsubscribed from Paul's ego. Because I am done. I am done. Paul thinks he can pull rank on me, talk down to me, because he's got a bigger channel, and because I came out of his community... Paul can go fuck himself. I don't need Paul. I don't need Paul's approval. I don't need Paul to like me. I don't need Paul to endorse me on any fucking level. I don't need Paul. And I don't care. This was an opinion that I had. I never meant for it to get this heated. Although, and, and by the way, oh, here's another thing. I, oh, uh, J I bet Jamie's never talked about pride until Vosh did a lot of people didn't talk about this till Vosh did. Vosh talked about it, and it blew up fucking Twitter. Everyone had an opinion, and everyone was super fucking contentious about it. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, I gave my fucking take. I'm not allowed to have an opinion that aligns with Vosh, because I must just be following Vosh, and not thinking for myself. Go fuck yourself. How would you like that, Paul? Hey, guys, you know Paul's whole no confidence, whole vo for force the vote thing? Sounds an awful lot like some Jimmy Dore talking points to me. I don't think Paul has his own opinions. I think Paul just parrots whatever the fuck Jimmy Dore says. And, and then pretends like it's, it's his, he spices it up a little. Adds his own hyperbolic fucking vitriol to it. But I really do think, yeah, Paul's ego, he's just fucking parroting Jimmy Dore. Who, by the way, I believe is, is a corporatist shill who, who's, whose only goal is to ruin the Democratic Party, to destroy the left. We all parrot to an extent, yes. And if Paul was a goddamn charitable human being, he would realize not everyone's opinion. Like, who the fuck makes their own opinions out of thin air? Who the fuck isn't influenced in one way or another by outside forces? Like, what? Who? What? Yeah, I heard Vosh's take, and I agreed with it. I hear other takes from Vosh, and I disagree with those. I'm trying to build bridges. I tried to build bridges with Paul. I, I offered Paul, let's talk. We have disagreements. Let's sit down and talk. Paul doesn't want to talk. Paul wants to sit and rant about me on his stream where if, if the only way I can respond is uh, to get in his chat and, and, and to not be able to get my point across because I'm in a chat or to make a fucking video or a stream that he won't watch and will just call me out for being a fucking, uh, for being mad. Oh, you mad. You triggered. What the fuck? Like, unironically. 
Is this his only fucking argument? Yeah, Pyro Paul, the bridge burner. He did it last week with uh, the other week with Galen. Let's see how many more bridges you can burn, Paul. I don't give a fuck. And I'm, I'm not the hugest fan of Galen either. I got my fucking issues with him as well. But holy fucking shit. Can we not be goddamn charitable to each other? Can we not give each other the goddamn benefit of the doubt? Paul wants to say that I parrot Vosh. I think that v Paul uh, 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 parrots all the anti-Vosh talking points. I think Paul hates Vosh so much that he just, anytime Vosh says something, he's got to take the o opposite position and get mad about it and vitriolic about it and attack the people in his audience who agree with Vosh. Because he can't stand the fact that people would rather listen to Vosh's political t takes than his dumb fuck brain dead ones that all lead back to just do nothing. Just get mad at the system. Let it all blow up. And again, guys, I love it because I'm going to be accused now for the, until the end of days by Paul's audience of, oh, Jamie's just triggered. Jamie's just triggered. Where, like, wh what is ideology, guys? You, you want my hot take on what ideology is? I'll tell y'all exactly what ideology is. Ideology is Paul wakes up in a bad mood, doesn't want to yell at his wife, so instead turns on his fucking stream and, and starts yelling at his chat. Takes out his aggression, his vitriol, his anger on his chat so he doesn't take it out on the people around him, the people close to him. Because fuck these nameless dipshits in the chat. Fuck these people. They're not people. They're not. Guys, y those are y'all that are coming right now to me from Paul's chat. Y'all realize Paul doesn't view you as people. Paul views you as his followers whose job it is to listen and agree. If you disagree, he will yell at you. He will... Uh, 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 attack your character, he will ban you. He will strong arm you into agreeing with you or shutting the fuck up. And for a long fucking time now, I've not enjoyed being in Paul's fucking chat. Because I don't enjoy being shit on just for e even when I go in, I went in the other week just to, I, 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 I was after a long fucking day of a bunch of bullshit. I went into ideology for old time's sake to chill with Paul. And he was talking some shit that I agreed with. And I said, you know what? Damn right, Paul. And the minute he sees me, huh, fucking Jamie. Oh, it's interesting. You think America does bad things, huh? Well, uh, why did you vote for Joe Biden? You claim to be anti-rape. But you supported Joe Biden. Who raped a person. So you're a rape apologist. Bad fucking faith. Disgustingly bad faith. Can you fill me in on what's going on? Here's the cliff notes. The other week, I went into Paul's chat, as I was just telling y'all, and uh, Paul started fucking coming after me, trying to, trying to like, uh, trying to do some gotcha because I'm doing this, uh, the, I, I'm doing these interviews with, with the victims of Ben, with Ben's abuse victims. And I'm talking about this. And Paul decided, ooh, here's a real clever gotcha. I'm going to say that, oh, you claim to care about women, but you supported Joe Biden. That makes you a rape apologist. That makes you anti-woman. And I got kind of mad. I did a stream re responding to it. I did a stream talking about how uh, I think that that, that that was really bad. I did a whole stream digging into it. And whatever. It was a long stream. It shouldn't have been that fucking long. But whatever. Paul said a lot of dumb shit. And he, he spent the entire... Uh, or a, a huge segment of the stream talking about me. So excuse me if I wanted to respond to every point And not be a, a, accused later of straw manning. Voting for Biden and being anti-rape are contradictory. You're banned.
Go fuck yourself. I... <laughs> What? I, I, guys, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who's talking about me. I don't care where I'm being talked about. I don't give a good goddamn. Because you know what? I've got my own fucking platform. You want me to jump on a TJ Does live stream with Paul? I can make it happen. For what purpose, TJ? Paul doesn't want to have a good faith discussion with me. Paul Paul does not want to engage with me in good faith. I, like, time and time again, I have tried so hard to be charitable to, to Paul. I have tried to uh, see where Paul is coming from. I've tried to give him the benefit of the doubt over and over and over. And all Paul wants to do is engage with me in bad faith, make the, the worst, always assuming the worst of me. And I'm sick of it. But you know what's fucking funny? Paul accuses me of having some parasocial daddy relationship with, uh, with uh, 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 Vosh. Honestly, I've had a much bigger parasocial relationship with Paul over the years, which is why probably like th this probably gets to me a little more than it should. A and I and that's why I'm kind of over this because I've realized more and more that I don't need Paul's approval. I don't need Paul to like me. I don't need his respect. Paul's another fucking content creator on this site. And rather than being able to agree to disagree, and I don't know why that is. Maybe he just looks down on me and thinks I'm just some worthless fucking insect to him. And, and, and I, I, I have no right to speak on anything or disagree with him. I, 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 don't, I don't need to engage with someone who, who, who fucking puts themselves on a fucking pedestal. And, and, and... Acts like I'm a fucking, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy of even being in his presence. Fucking Paul, like he was literally bitching about, oh, I, I just hate having to fucking see, uh, dumb fuck shit like Jamie in, in even fucking TJ's chat. You can't even stand seeing me in TJ's chat. You, you already, <sighs> You already didn't want me being fucking a mod on DFF. Fine. I don't care. I don't even watch it anymore anyway. But now, you, oh, you can't even handle seeing me disagree with you in TJ's chat? Okay, is, is, are, are, are you just fucking like, does Paul just like, is, is he just not able to deal with people disagreeing with him? Like, I, I don't know. Well, the offer stands. I think it would be funny. I, I don't know, TJ. You just don't want to do it because Paul would destroy you? All Paul is going to do is loudly talk over me. And, and yell and get real loud, as he always does. If... Oh, all right. If TJ agrees to, to, to moderate the discussion and to actually um, not take sides, but, you know, m make sure that we both actually have uh, uh, the chance to speak. I'll make sure both parties get speaking time. Oh, I love the implication that if I somehow don't do it, it means I'm just not sure of my position. 
All right, TJ. You want to do this? I'll I'll do this, but I'm I'm going to say right now like I first of all, I I really don't care how this discussion goes cuz I'm I'm really done with Paul's bad faith bullshit. And if I come away from this discussion feeling like Paul's been acting in bad faith, then I'm just I'm just not going to engage anymore cuz I I don't think it's worthwhile. This it, it, I'll make a final attempt because I don't want to go go on and just fucking uh try to try to own Paul. I'm still interested in building bridges because I'm not Paul. I'm not trying to fucking, I'm not trying to fucking uh, tear people down and, and shit on people. I'm trying to be charitable. Like, holy fuck. I understand why Paul comes to a lot of the positions he has that I believe are, are, are that I believe are dumb fuck takes. I completely fucking see his point of view. I used to hold it myself. But that doesn't mean I can't disagree with it now. <sighs> yeah, if I was scared, why did I argue with Paul already multiple times? Why have I called out positions of Paul's that I disagree with? Even though, again, I don't enjoy getting yelled at in his chat. But I, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll fucking like I'm, I'm. I love how I'm being accused of not not being able to think for myself and not having any positions of my own. When literally what I'm doing is a lot of people that I used to just agree with 100. percent I'm now learning to like think critically and call those people out. I call TJ out all the time when I disagree with him. I call Vosh out just because you haven't seen it. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I thought you were scared when you said, I'm not scared. I'm honestly not scared. I just don't think it's productive. I'll do it. I don't know. TJ, hit me up. I, I don't know if you're saying you want to do this right now. But. What? Uh, <laughs> Paul said he was out to hurt your feelings. You know, that wouldn't surprise me. Because the way he's been acting kind of seems that way. I, I don't know. I guess my mistake is giving a fuck what Paul thinks about me in the fucking first place. Which, I'll say this, I no longer do. No, Paul is extremely jaded and extremely just overly emotional and, and mad and spiteful. You know, I love it. I, I, I saw Paul uh, talking about how, how much destiny sucks the other day. Pretty fucking ironic coming from someone who's pretty much just becoming destiny. Engaging in spite-based politics. Engaging in spiteful, vitriolic attacks. And anyone you fucking disagree with refusing to, to, to address people in good faith. Holy fucking shit. I thought you were better than that, Paul. <sighs> yes, he likes to snipe it. Let him snipe it, people. See, I had no problem. If he wants to just, yeah, fuck Jamie Darkey. She's an idiot. Whatever. I don't care. But... This is twice now, twice, that he's done a stream spewing absolute bad faith vitriol towards me that I don't feel like I fucking deserved. I don't think I've, I, I've never done anything to you, Paul, to, to, to deserve this kind of hate. I don't know what your fucking problem is. <clears throat> <laughs> Scotty is your least favorite. Nah, dude, Scotty's based. Check Discord. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm in Discord, TJ. Here, let's uh 
I guess we're doing it now. Because I'll, I'll make one final attempt. I'll make one final attempt to build a bridge with Paul. But after this, I'm, I'm done. Scotty is hot. <laughs> Damn right. <sighs> I didn't mean to get this heated tonight, guys. I really didn't. I kind of, in fact, I meant to just address this for like 20 minutes and move on. But, um, yeah, no, that stream made me mad. It did. It did. I didn't appreciate it. It's hella heated. Well, <laughs> go back and listen to Paul's stream from last night. I think it's just called Slog, which it kind of was a slog to get through that stream. <laughs> go listen to that and tell me I don't have a right to be kind of annoyed, at least. I see Tav's already getting ready to stream snipe this. Oh, God. I didn't hear it, to be honest. I jumped on ship on last night's stream. Pretty, uh, I jumped ship on last night's stream pretty early on. Well, it, it, dude, he literally started his segment talking about me by like, can we all just agree Jamie Darkay is a fucking moron? Fucking brain dead idiot. Like... What is with all the ad I don't throw ad homs at Paul. At least not nearly as much. Like, holy fuck. I have never approached Paul with even a, 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 a fraction of the vitriol. Yeah, I, I, no, I realized that before I did this stream. I am damned if I do, damned if I don't. That's that's the same attitude I had going into the, the my last stream about Paul. I was like, well, if I don't respond to this, I'm going to be, be called a fucking coward and I'm afraid. Uh, uh, I'm afraid to address Paul. If I do, I'm going to be a accused of being triggered. So... Ad homs work when you're talking to your group. Y yeah, they, they they work if you're in a in an echo chamber full of people who all just listen to you. What do you think Jeff tried to do the other day to me? Just like, oh, Jamie's a cringy idiot. Jamie is just cringe and obnoxious and cringe, like. <laughs> it's real easy to just spew fucking ad homs at someone. Where's the substantive criticism? I'm all for criticism. I try to take criticism. I do. And if Paul knew the first thing about me, he'd know that. He'd know that I, I'm all for, I want my chat to criticize me. I, I want, if people think I'm, I'm not doing the best, criticize me, please. I want to be better. When I came out as trans, I made a vow to myself to be a better person. Because I was not proud of who I was before. I was not proud of the exterior I built up around myself to protect myself. I realized it was fucking dumb. And that I hurt people. And that I was a fucking shitty person to be around.
And I've been working my damnedest to improve, to take criticism, to be honest with myself and with you guys. But then I got bad faith dipshits like Paul who don't know the first goddamn thing about me. Wanted a fucking... <laughs> oh, is this happening now? I mean, I'm definitely keeping my own stream going for this. <laughs> Are you proud of telling fellow LGBTQ people to hide their sexuality? I never said that. Nice straw man. All I said is overt sexuality and, and open horniness maybe doesn't need to be at the forefront. And by the way... Most fucking pride groups already agree with that sentiment and are already doing that. So I don't know who the fuck you people are fighting against. It's already happening. Pride is already trying to be more inclusive. And you know what? I'll say this. There might, I, I understand why there's been a lot of overt sexuality at a lot of pride areas, uh, a lot of prides. And you know what? There might be some cities that, that still need that. All right? There might. But overall... I don't think being more inclusive is a bad thing. I just don't. Especially when there are really young fucking kids that might be LGBT that are, 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 are going to get like a weird, a weird example of what LGBT is when they, when they see certain things be, be, be pushed to the forefront, Okay. not for the kids it's supposed to be for everyone it's supposed to be pushing LGBT rights into mainstream culture what's antagonistic about pointing out that voting for a rapist is directly contradictory to being anti-rape because both of the fucking both of the fucking candidates were accused of rape. In fact, there's a hell of a lot more uh, uh, accusations towards Trump. If we're going to have a rapist as president, either way, I'd rather focus on the nuances of the other issues that both candidates stand for and what they may or may not each be able to get done. And I'd rather make that choice based on who I believe is the lesser of two evils. Supporting, ne supporting neither doesn't mean that we don't get a, a, a rapist as president. It just doesn't. You can support neither all you want. We're going to get one of the two. I'd rather sti stick my fucking finger on the scale on, on one side or the other. Because I believe one side is, is a little more... Uh, <sighs> Okay. All right. I'm being called. Let's, uh, here we go. Camera on my fucking other thing. We doing it? Hey, TJ. See if we got anybody in here. Humans. Bueller. Jesus, TJ. Oh, yeah. I had makeup on earlier, so it's, it's, a. Uh... It's just residue from makeup. Sexy. <laughs> I see Jamie's in here. Oh, can I'm not you not? Anything oh, from Jamie. fuck. TJ can't hear me. Wait, I got to fix this. I know uh, my settings are configured right because we do this all the time, Wait, literally. There you go. TJ, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. What up? Oh, nothing much. I was just watching both your guys' streams. I'm, let me put you guys both on screen now. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me uh, pop this out. Pop it out of your ass, TJ. Pop. pop it out your fucking big fat fucking ass. TJ. Hey, Look you're not you you ain't here for me. All right, just okay. Just, sorry. Don't don't fuck. I'm the moderator here. I'm uh, okay. 
So let's explain some shit. So you're the I... real enemy here, TJ. Right. If you're fucking, I'm muting. The I'm muting you guys for like a moment. So give me a second here. All right. You get they're muted. They can't fucking interrupt me. I'm talking to the audience right now. So audience, here's my capacity in this. I am not here to take a side. I am not here to fucking show favorites. I am not here to get involved in whatever fucking argument is happening. I am here in a completely unbiased moderator capacity where I want to exploit the drama between these two people. Um, and I'm just going to do that. I'm going to give each of them a chance to get their opinions across. I am not here to build bridges or make them get along. I am not here to fan the flames of antagonism between them. I am just here to facilitate a conversation. And where that conversation goes is totally up to the two people participating in it. I am just here to facilitate. That's what I'm here to do. If you want to show your facilitator some love, Super Chats are open. Stream Labs are open. Of course they are. Um, anyway, I don't want to fucking keep them waiting too much. They were both kind enough to join me on here, so let's fucking give them... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I guess that we, we should start by uh, having, having one of you fucking lay your, your argument against the other out in some kind of detail. I guess we could flip a coin to see. Uh, Jamie, you want to call it? Uh, heads. Flip a coin. Oh, you got a coin. Wait, who's flipping? Heads. I'm. My phone is flipping, and you oh. won. Do you okay. want to go first, or do you want to go after Paul? No, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Um, All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch to this uh, this view here. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh. Lay it out. All right. I'm going to give you, let's say, five minutes or you can you can yield the time if you want, but I'll give you five minutes to lay out what you want to say. Okay. Um, basically, I uh, I have some disagreements with Paul. I've made them known, and I feel like Paul has been uh, acting in really bad faith. Uh, you know, he's been doing a number of streams, uh, being very venomous and vitriolic. Towards DJ, me they can't hear us. I'm, I'm sorry simple. to interrupt oh, you, Jamie. Sorry. Okay, they can't can they not hear us? Hear. Sorry. Okay, hold on. So you'll have to God start that. God damn it, around. TJ. My bad. My bad. Hold on. I error. Error. <laughs> TJ has committed an error. Um. Let's see. Can I, will this fix it? Okay. Yeah. As long as I don't play video for you guys, that should be fine. I think. God damn it. God right, damn uh, it. The worst that can happen oh, is there might I be can, some. Oh, now, now I hear myself. Yeah. That's. Uh, that's just the fucking way it's gonna go, huh? Okay. Um, God damn. Our host hold on. I have one more thing up. I can try, so hold on. Uh, say something. Test, test, test. All right. Did you guys hear? Did you guys hear say, Jamie say test, test, test just now? Yeah, you guys. You guys got to pay any extra for sound. <laughs> now I hear myself. Yeah. Uh, now that's... it works. It's good now. You heard Jamie. Okay. Dope. Go ahead then. All right. Uh, you I will, know what? I will uh, reset the clock. Go ahead. All right. I'll start over. Um. All right. So here, here's where I'm coming from. I've watched Paul for years. Okay. I've been I've been a big fan of Paul, and o over the years I've I've agreed with Paul. I've disagreed with Paul. Lately, I've been disagreeing with Paul more and more, and uh, I've made those disagreements known. I've talked about them. I've, I've, I've talked about, you know, my differences in opinion, just like I've talked about my differences of opinion with TJ and, and uh, various other content creators, including Vosh and a number of other people that I watch. Because for a long damn time, uh, and, and, you know, uh, I, I, I've been accused of not thinking for myself. Well, honestly, for a long damn time, I wasn't thinking for myself. I, I was really, you know, a... Uh, uh, I kind of just followed along with, I mean, goddamn, I, I came up uh, uh, from a, a, an ideology that teaches you that, that you're supposed to defer in all things to one almighty fucking uh, 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 creator of the universe. And so, you know, uh, the, you come out of religion, you still kind of have that mindset of like, you know, you're, you're looking for someone to, to give you all the answers. And I've been kind of dumb in the past and I've, you know, uh, kind of just deferred to TJ in all things in some areas. And, you know, as I've grown and realized that that's fucking dumb, I've worked to better myself and to, you know, uh, start forming my own opinions and thinking for myself. And uh, 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 lately I've been I've been doing that and I've been, you know, may maybe I've been uh, 
I, I will admit, I, I, in a bit of a, an attempt to like overcorrect and show people that, hey, you know, not, not only am I no longer this sycophant that just believes everything I'm told, I, I'm actually going against these people now. But you know what? I also realized, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to do a, a, a video or a stream being like, yeah, I'm going to criticize TJ. I'm going to criticize Paul. But every time I've criticized Paul, I feel like I've done my best to act in good faith. I've done my best to uh, give Paul the benefit of the doubt, even when I think his takes are really fucking dumb. Even when I, I, I really disagree with the bullshit and, and think that he, the shit he's saying is extremely harmful. I've tried to, uh, you know, because look, I understand some of Paul's positions. I actually used to hold several of them myself. And so I kind of, uh, I kind of... I kind of, uh, uh, I, I don't want to just shit on someone, even if I look at their take now and think, you know, oh, it's fucking dumb. Cause I'm like, no, I've been there too. I, I get it. But as I've criticized Paul lately, I've, I've felt like all, uh, Paul's responses to me have been full of nothing but vitriol and venom and, uh, uh, have been in extremely bad faith. I, uh, the other day I, 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 you know, popped into Paul's chat and Paul saw I was there and suddenly starts fucking attacking me for being a Biden supporter because I'm, I've been talking about, uh, uh, rape victims and, and, you know, I've, I've been, you know, do, doing some stuff related to, to the Me Too movement and, and Paul in extremely bad faith, I believe, uh, starts calling me out and saying, how can you be pro women when you, uh, uh, supported voting for Biden? I think that's really fucking dumb. And I did a stream talking about that. And from, from I, I didn't do much of a follow-up. I don't know if Paul ended up watching the whole thing or not. But I said at the end of that stream that, like, I was kind of done with this, like, back-and-forth bullshit. Because I, I don't want to have beef with Paul. I never wanted to have beef with Paul. I wanted to lay out my disagreements. And honestly, I wanted to have a fucking discussion. I wanted to have a good faith discussion, sit down, uh, uh, and, and try to, like, come to some kind of common ground. But every time... Uh, and... and, and uh, uh, every time I, I, I hear something about, oh, Paul's talking about you again, and I go look in on it, it's it's... Paul like shitting on me or, or just being really fucking bad faith still and and last night Paul start because look whatever I, we, we can talk all we want about like the the nuances of, of the pride discussion but hey Vosh had a take I heard it I kind of agreed with some of it I didn't agree with other points he made and so I made my take known and Paul spent the fucking uh, you know uh, uh, like 40 minutes of that stream just fucking uh, attacking my character based on a fucking disagreement we have 30 and, second warning and and so yeah i i think this is extremely bad faith and honestly i want to uh i don't want to sit here and, and have drama i don't want to argue with paul paul i i'd like to i'd like to come to some kind of fucking understanding with you because i i, I don't want to just i i don't want fucking drama I don't want stupid... Th that's why I said... I, again, I don't know if you saw at the end of the last stream. I wanted to have a good faith discussion with you. And uh, uh, if, if if you don't want that... I mean, whatever. I, I'll, I'll, I'll cons... Time's up. Yeah, say, say what I'm you want to say. Yeah, I got nothing right, you else. You can wrap... If you, okay. I got go. nothing else. I, uh, okay. So uh, just for a little context for people <clears throat> who might not have gathered what this has uh, been about. I mean, there's there's been other things that have led up to it. But this uh, latest patch of difficulty between uh paul and jamie has been uh on the basis of the disagreement about the uh kink at kink at pride discussion that you guys have probably seen raging on twitter and a few other platforms uh anyway paul you now have five uh minutes starting now uh <clears throat> i won't need five minutes so I'm, I'm assuming like i'm not supposed to be responding to what jamie said this is the opening this is statement. just you laying out whatever case you want to make in five minutes go ahead right right so my contention is that um jamie darkey is an idiot <laughs> who wouldn't have a single fucking thought in her empty fucking head if somebody else didn't put it there first and I'm sick of seeing her cold ass fucking iceberg that sank the Titanic takes floating around in my chat and floating around on things that I do and have an adjacent association with somebody that can't fucking think for themselves. So that's basically my contention is that Jamie Darkey's an idiot. And uh, 
<laughs> I'm tired of hearing Jamie Darkey and listening to her cold ass fucking takes. I've been calling her cold take Karen uh, in my chat because she's just like a fountain of just ice cold fucking takes on every goddamn fucking thing. <laughs> and I'm just sick of it, dude. I got I just got sick of it. So I decided to throw a little salt last night, which I do regularly. You know what I mean? Anybody that's been to a Paul stream knows like you get some salt slopped on you, you know? And uh, I don't know. She's big mad now. And now we're here to make TJ some money. Donate people. Come on. <laughs> and that's it. I yield the balance of my time. All right. So from here, I'm just going to kind of let you guys go at it. Uh, the, now that you've laid out your, your grievances. So... <laughs> Uh, Jamie, I guess you, you no more. Mo I mean, I'll jump in if someone's getting talked over too much or whatever, but go ahead. Um, I, I, I don't know. Like what, what, where's your evidence that I'm an idiot and that none of my takes come from like, like I, what? Okay. Uh, you want some evidence no, that you're ahead. an idiot? Go ahead. Okay. I guess a cold so ass you're, take you're, is just you're something. Trans, you're a trans woman, mm -hmm. right? You're a trans woman who is arguing that pride should be sanitized. I didn't say that. Okay, okay. Well, why don't you tell me what your iceberg level Vosh regurgitated take on pride is and then all, so we can get past this, I didn't say that shit. So my take does not perfectly align with Vosh. I actually think Vosh was really fucking hyperbolic in his uh, argument. I, I think he should not have been going around calling people pedophiles and be like, anyone who disagrees with me is a pedophile. He didn't say that exactly, but that's kind of the, the, the feeling he gave off. And I think that was really dumb. And I think that didn't help his argument. Um, what I think is uh, 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 what I agree with rather is the idea that, um, you know, maybe like overtly sexual or like n full out nudity or like uh, 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 kink shit being put on display. Um, maybe it shouldn't be the front and center of this movement that is um, being used uh, uh, as an example for what. Hold LGBT on, let me stop you there. You ever been you ever been to a pride event, Jamie? No, I haven't, and I can actually. Explain. I've been to a, I've been to a pride event, mm -hmm. and uh, TJ has. I know he's the moderator, uh, so he can't like be a testim. Uh, yeah, like, I'm not here testimony. to interject anything, so don't don't base right. any so arguments I won't rely on around him. Me. But I went to a pride event in the Bay Area in California back when I was in my 20s, and uh, for you to say that kink is front and center and whatever else you described is one once again why I called you an idiot. Because you've never been to Pride. You don't know thing one about the movement, which is what I was trying to get to. But now we're stuck in this I never said that bullshit well, land that you like to live in when you don't want to no, answer no, your cold because, ass No, take. because I, I believe in nuance. And I believe in, in actually saying well, here's what you the mean. nuance then. I'll, let me give you the nuance then, Jamie. The kink people that are in Pride parades are far outnumbered by people just wearing flamboyant costumes, cool wigs, and standing on floats and dancing and having a fucking good time. So you're bitching about a tiny minority of people now. Okay, so now that we've gotten that moral panic out of the way, because you seem to think that this is just some big kink parade where it's just an endless parade of leather daddies so, leading their pups down the street. It's ridiculous, Jamie. So wait, so You've wait, it's a, it's a minority. At, oh, by the way, you know that picture of the little girl standing in front of the leather daddy pups? Mm -hmm. That everybody's No, I already, I already know that. I already know that's not from Pride. I, I you know that's said not that okay, I already good. said I'm that earlier. You know that because nobody else seems to know it. No, uh, look. First of all, I I, for, I never said that it's necessarily front and center at every event. All I said. You just said that. All I. All I don't I, think it should be front and center. I don't. No. I, yeah. Exactly. I don't think it should be. That doesn't mean that I think it is. I think that if there are things like if that. If it isn't, then why are you arguing that it shouldn't be? Because I'm agreeing with people who are saying that it shouldn't you're agreeing be. with I'm you're not, getting your takes from other people as per usual. I'm get what I'm saying, Paul, is that as someone who grew up uh, uh, in, a, in a very uh, uh, conservative Christian household, I understand why there are some people that might look at pride and might be very turned off by it. If, if they see, see, see but here's the thing, Jamie, I don't I'm sorry. 
I don't give a fuck about your cr conservative Christian household and what they think of pride. That's not what pride's I, about. I, I, I get that. You know what that. pride is about? Out of the closets, into the streets. No more dingy is bars, no more back the rooms, no more dirty motel rooms, no be no more being forced to do our business in the in the back room. We're here. We're queer. Get used to it. I agree. We're here. We're I, queer. Get used to it. Not. Paul. Uh, would you like to bring your kid down and have a cotton candy well, and ride the okay, Ferris now wheel you're of pride? Now you're straw manning me. Why does it have to be one extreme or the other? Why Why can't it just be... What are you arguing for? What are you arguing against? This is why I called you an idiot, Jamie. I'm arguing for the idea that it is inclusive and that we don't make it alienating to people who might not be comfortable seeing people be overtly sexual in the why streets. Why do you give a fuck? Do, do, you, do you know what that moral panic was about uh, in the 70s when it came to pride and pride demonstrations? Y mm -hmm. You don't because you don't know anything about pride because you're, uh, you're making uh, fucking determinations about pride, an organization and a movement you clearly know nothing about, I don't know. which is worrying as I a know, trans person. I know you would come out and start I, making takes on pride when you know fuck all about pride. I don't know everything Tell me about it, so I'm not allowed to have an opinion. about pride was, Jamie, if you know fuck all about pride, I'll wait. Uh, it was that, I believe it was that, uh, uh, it was a, a, a pedophile fest or whatever, and that they're, they're fucking nope. exposing children to... Was well, I mean, not... yeah, the, the, the same old what about the kids yeah. was there. Yeah, but this isn't the same argument. I'm not. No, it isn't. But you know what it was back then, Jamie? You know what the you know what the argument that you were making took the form of back then? Men kissing men and women kissing women in the streets that... and holding hands and having public displays of affection. And that you're going to really like this one as a trans woman, your favorite from the 80s and 90s, men dressed like women. How are we going to put that in front of kids? That, How am I going to explain to kids why these two men are walking down the street shirtless with their hands in each other's back pockets? That stuff is normal. And now you're now, doing the same shit. You're doing the same shit. And you want to act like you're not doing the same shit. I don't shit. believe that I am doing the same shit, Paul, because well, I, I want believe that you are doing no, the same shit. No, and because... I think you're an idiot if you don't see that you're doing the same shit. No. I just told you no. why you're doing the same no, shit. No, because, Paul, what I want is for a, 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 our society to be able to say, yes, that stuff is normalized, and yes, it should be out in the open, but why does do, do, do people need to be, like, uh, 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 overtly sexual out in the open? Why do people need to be... Uh, why, do you, why, why can't they? Naked. I've, I've, I've heard... Why, why can't they be? Why, they, they can. All I, dude, all I've said is I, I don't have a problem with that stuff being at Pride. I just think maybe there should be like a, a, an adult section and then like an Night after hour. Have the main Pride event be family friendly, right? Yeah, why not? What's you know that the main Pride event is not a parade, it's a protest? Y yeah, that, uh, good. And that it, protests aren't family friendly environments. You don't bring your children to them unless you want them to know what's going on at the protest. And that includes having a quick talk with them about the leather daddy that walked by. Mommy, daddy, what's that? Paul, Why is that man dressed that way? I'm not against Because pride it. is about dressing and being whoever you want, honey. Look at that float over there. Look at the pretty ladies dancing. I'm not against parents having to explain these things to their children. What yes, I, you are. No, I'm not. You just no, got done. No, Paul, 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 you're you so no. fucking confused. Paul, you're straw you manning me. You just got done Paul, arguing. Why does, it, why does it have to be so flamboyantly sexual? Why does it have to be so... I'm not against people. Having to, you don't know what you're for and what you're, you're against no, because you don't have a take on this. No, you're fucking straw manning me. Paul, what I'm saying... and I don't I'm, even know what a straw man is. What's a straw man, Jamie? What what is this? Are 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 you? Oh, look at me! I, I'm gonna pretend. Like, uh, can't answer. I know exactly. You don't know, Paul, because you got that from somebody else. Paul, like everything else. Paul, a straw man is when you make up a ridiculous fucking argument that your opponent didn't fucking make in order to tear it down because that's the only way you can sound smart. So explain to me how I just straw manned your position. Because you're saying that I said something that I didn't fucking say. What I'm did trying I say to explain, Paul. Specific. You just said that I'm saying that, oh, like a parent, uh, 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 that, that, that I'm making this about like parents not being able to explain this to their children. That's not what the fucking argument is. My argument, and please don't interrupt me, my argument is about the fact that there are young people, I'm not talking about the parents, put the parents fucking out of it. There are young people that feel a alienated from the, these events that uh, 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 would otherwise not be able to go to these events and be exposed to queer culture. That one of the biggest events related to uh, being exposed uh, to queer culture means being exposed to men and assless chaps sometimes. What, what, no, 
And people that are dressed in is thongs. Be, is being exposed to straight culture, being exposed to women uh, walking around yeah. in lingerie and... and yeah. Yeah, people yeah. fucking in the street. It happens all the goddamn time. Women walk out, walk around all the time wearing less than bikinis. I live in California, Jamie. You ever been to California? You might want to cancel the whole state of California while you're while you're while you're on while you're busy moralizing about pride. You might want to just cancel California because man, you can't take your kid out of the house here. Women just walk around in fucking less than bikinis here. There's nothing wrong with that, Paul. There's nude beaches in California. They're kid friendly. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is the overtly sexual nature of some some, some, some events, Paul. Not even all the events. I've like I don't have to Some of the events are fam family friendly. Like I said, you've yeah, never been to a pride, so how would you know? No that's my point. A lot of them are becoming more family friendly and I'm okay with no, they're not I'm, becoming like family them. friendly. They have been for years. They've been for years, had different Paul, venues that were made for kids, you know, here's, for family, here's, for parents of queer kids. Here's my, here's, you don't know anything about pride. You've never been. Here's my fucking frustration, Paul. I hear someone making an argument that like, hey, maybe this overtly sexual stuff is not good and maybe we should make it a little more accessible. And I'm like, yeah, I don't disagree with that. And then you, rather than like, like if I don't know something, rather than being like, hey, Jamie, here's this thing that you don't understand about this. Instead, you fucking attack my character and act like I'm just some big fucking idiot who has no right to have an opinion on this. Uh, like, if my opinion... You haven't demonstrated anything about your opinion, so that's why you're an idiot. Uh, I would like to interject just something very briefly here. Mm. I am a little, and I'm not saying this to take a side, but I am a little unclear as to what exactly... Jamie wants pride to do how I, she wants the, pride to change. That's my point. I, I like, don't. I don't want it to change. I. I, I well, then what is this most about? Most of them don't need what. What this was about. I did a stream talking about the 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 Vosh situation. The the fact that everyone hurting was hurting his position. No, not. Pe Holy fuck, Paul. This bad faith. What the fuck? I talked about it. I started by disagreeing with the with some of the shit he said, and then I said, but I also agree with some of this he said, like. No, I'm not just parroting his fucking what? position. What did you agree with him? I agreed with him when he was saying things like, yeah, like, I, I, I don't think that we should be uh, 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 putting kink shit in front of children. I think this shit should be more acceptable. And he even said, and this is something else I agree with. Who's putting kink shit in front not, of children? It's not just about children. It's about people. Who put kink shit in front of children? Who's putting kink shit in front of children, Jamie? Probably some very, uh, people? probably some minority people at, at a minority of these events. It's not even. So it's their fault. So a leather daddy decides he wants to wear assless chaps and a spiked collar and no shirt with nipple clamps on to pride. And it's his fault because you brought your fucking kid. He came there to show to parade it in front of your kid at a protest. I'm saying that the No, that's what you're saying. The, I, no, I just summarized your argument for you and now you want to recontextualize I'm it. Saying, Please. Let's 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 hear two more minutes of Jamie Darkey nothing while I find you a Bosch tweet. I'm saying that Go I ahead. don't disagree with the idea of having these events accessible. If you want to come and tell me they're already mostly accessible to everyone, then okay, I don't have a problem with pride, then and I don't. You should know that before you have a hot take about it, dumb fuck. I didn't this have a, called you an idiot. I didn't have a hot take. I commented on Vosh's hot take. You did a half-hour stream agreeing with Vosh. No, I talked for about about it for about forty minutes, and I moved on to other shit. And I spent the oh, first whatever. You 40, had 40 minutes. minutes of straight fucking booty chatter nonsense. No, I talked about I I, I gave my take on it and then I argued with which the is chat. Hot, which is that, cold as an iceberg. Then I'm cold, what is the fuck does that mean, Paul? How I cold is that what the fuck are you talking about? The opposite about? of a high the the opposite of a hot take is a cold take. And your takes would sink the fucking Titanic, Jamie Darkey. All right, you, that's, that's real. Point. You sound real clever when you say that. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, no, you sound real clever when you can't justify your fucking. Like TJ asks you a direct question and you're still not. I uh, don't. TJ, Paul, do you feel like she's satisfied my, your fucking question yet? Or even. So I am. I'm. I have to be honest. I am confused because it seems like what I heard was that nothing needs to change, but I'm still hearing arguments for why things need to change. No, I, so I'm very curious about what needs to change. My arguments are that. <laughs> 
my only argument was that I, I agree with Vosh saying that, yeah, what's wrong with these events being more accessible to more people? This is a this is the mainstream LGBTQ event. And I, I think having it be something that everyone feels welcome at, where, where that, that, that doesn't feel exclusionary to anyone. What I think Christians that don't want to see so much gay shit going on. Shouldn't they be welcome at the event or you want to exclude them, right? Paul, I'm more They don't want to see men holding hands. It makes them uncomfortable because, of course, you know, Jamie, growing up in a hardcore Christian household, that's an abomination before God. So, but there should, they shouldn't be comfortable and their children don't need to be comfortable at the event, right? They... My my concern, my concern is with the young people that may otherwise want to go to these events and like and, and toddlers, not toddlers, teenagers, preteens, year olds. Yeah. Did you not? Did, did you not know what sex was at 14? I, I don't know if shit's changed since I was a kid, but in high school, by the time I was 14, everybody I knew either had had sex personally, or knew what the fuck it was. Personally, Paul, it wasn't going to be the first time they'd seen an ass. You want an honest answer to that? No, I didn't. No, I didn't know what sex was until I was 15 because I, again, extremely fucking sheltered. And well, I that, also... The, you, you're arguing for sheltering fin- more kids. No, I'm not. Let me finish. I also had an extremely uh, uh, tainted view of what it even meant to be LGBTQ because I, I, all I saw as representation for LGBT people was this extreme kink shit. I thought being gay meant being extremely kinky, and I was never That's super... Because you listen to nothing but conservative argumentation and you're still making no, it. No, because, because that was what was pushed in the mainstream in general. And pride is a uh, protest against the mainstream. Yeah, but then why do they why do they push the same image of themselves that the that the mainstream strawmans them with? Because the mainstream doesn't get to dictate a queer person's uh, attire, dress, or the way that they conduct themselves during the pride demonstration. I'm not, That's the point of the pride I'm not demonstration. To, I'm not trying. Mean, you're a trans woman. I'm going to I'm gonna make a fucking suggestion to you. Read a book what? about the history of the fucking trans movement. Recommend and a the, book and, and the I queer will. acceptance movement in this country. Excuse me. Recommend Read a book fucking and I will. Book. Paul, all I'm saying, and again, I'm not trying to police how people dress. I'm not trying to. Yes, keep, you are. No. You're saying, why do, I, why, why do we have to keep the kink shit? Why can't it all be inclusive? Why can't we put up a Ferris wheel and let the kids get rainbow cotton candy? Because that's not what it is. I'm, it's not a gay pride fair. I'm saying. It's a protest against people who were exactly the type of people you're trying to kowtow to. Why would you be the things that the people point at you and laugh at? Because that's what you do, dumbass. Paul. You say, fuck you. Well, we're here. We're queer. Get used to it. You know Here's what? my big queer ass, you fucking pa- faggot stomping piece of fucking shit. Paul, do you know what? Come stomp us on Pride Day, motherfucker. It's not about whether your toddler can get a fucking lolly. Paul. And whether you can wipe your Ferris wheel at Pride, mm-hmm. you dumb infantilizing fuck. This is why I call you an idiot, Jamie. You know what my definition of we're here, we're queer, get used to it is? It's something stupid no. that means nothing. No, it's pa- fucking malleable as to whatever Vosh says. See, Paul, no, this, go ahead. This is why I don't want to engage with you because you're extremely get bad out. faith. You and get out, Paul- you charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sh- okay. Get the Paul, hands from me, Paul, Charlotte. Hold on, Paul, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, TJ, you he's not letting me talk. Right, Paul, T- hold on, Paul, on, hold on, Paul. He's I want to hear. Uh, I want to hear from Jamie for a minute. My <clears> definition of "we're here, we're queer, get used to it" is. Gay people, trans people, queer people are people. We're just like you. We're not some aliens. We're not some crazy fucking... What? what, No. Wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Uh, Why? Why? I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you continue to define a slogan that happened during the early days of the queer movement incorrectly. Then I don't... It's not we look like you and we are you and we're everything like you. It's like we're different than you and we're here. We're among you. Get used to it. Dumb fuck. I read a book, no, I, Jamie. Paul, read a book. You don't let me fucking speak. Holy fuck. At least fuck. pull up the Wikipedia Paul. article about pride and read it. Holy fuck, Paul. You fucking... Uh, okay. I'm, I'm muting myself up. You go ahead, Jamie. Oh, yeah. After you spent five minutes gish galloping me, now you're going to mute up. Holy fuck. 
I am, am, am more interested in the movement evolving to be something that shows people that LGBT people are exactly like them, that we're not some aliens, we're not some crazy different fucking other people, because you know what? Honestly, I think that a lot of the ways that some uh, uh, LGBT people have, have, have tried to, like, um, uh, 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 represent the movement has been a little bit harmful to people who again looking at it from the outside in don't understand the kink shit don't understand what the fuck being gay is and think that it's just being a kinky motherfucker that 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 like uh, uh, grabs men's asses in the streets and 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 get go fucking flashes their dicks in public and whatever like and so we should acquiesce to that incorrect assumption right no i'm saying it I'm saying it doesn't necessarily need to be the the front and center. And if it's not, then I don't have any contention with it. I never can. Came... Then you go. Then you're gonna. Then then you'll go back and fucking make. You'll make a stream tomorrow apologizing to me. Apologizing because to... you made a complete cold take, an idiotic take that was uninformed, based on an assumption that Pride was a bunch of ball gagged leather daddies fucking each other Paul, up the ass on you, floats all day. If you actually watched that stream of mine yesterday, you'd see that I was actually talking to my fucking chat and people were actually correcting me on things. I was like, oh, well then, okay, not if it's enough. like that, not enough. I have my opinion. Apparently there was all... nobody in your chat that knew a fucking thing about Pride. I ha... You didn't get corrected then. You got corrected tonight, though. I had. You're welcome, by the way. Paul... You won't make fuck. any more cold takes on Pride. Holy fuck. I have my opinion, Paul. We can uh, disagree. Like, You're going to stick to your guns on this bullshit after tonight? After what? After you fucking just sit here and yell at me for 30 minutes? Oh, get out of here. You had ample time to explain yourself, Jamie. I I feel like I have. I feel like I absolutely have. You you like Have you asked you, TJ, or do you know what Jamie thinks should be done about pride yet? I I, I I've said I was going to stay out of uh of this uh stuff from in terms of um a no, I just hey, mean uh, you 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 raised a question earlier. Has your question been answered? Um I'm still not exactly sure. Well, yeah. I've I mean, already said I don't Wait, Paul, well, hold no, on. Here's, Paul, okay, so let me just I'm not trying to uh I'm not trying to take a side with this. I'm just trying to get a clarifying question here. Cuz I am still pretty con I'm still confused on this. Okay. Because you are saying that you you're not asking the pride event to change. Or at least you're not trying to mandate any change. No. Yet at the same time, you are, uh, I don't know, making criticisms of Pride as an event not and even... saying that you know it needs to be more accessible. The term I've heard is accessible. Yep. That's so what are, because that's what are the, what are the well, I mean, it seems, it seems like there has to be something that you're advocating I, to make I, it more I, accessible. Well, and yet I'm not really clear on what that is is I, I here it is i'll read it for you i'll read it for you here's jamie's take put much more succinctly because it's a person with the at least a brain in their head that made it this is vosh uh from a tweet yesterday i'll read you the whole chain okay kink at pride makes people uncomfortable and makes the event less accessible when accessibility should be a priority keep less family friendly stuff to the many many after parties and adjacent private venues yeah. Every pride Why has. Not? Why not? The fact that this is controvert because it's because pride is about out of the closets into the streets and you're arguing for going back into the closet. No, I'm no, no, that's a straw man, Paul. It's not go back into the closet. It's come out of the closet. But why do people need to be uh, come out of the closet but dress like a straight why person do people and don't be, do any gay stuff? No, but dress gay as fuck. But why do people need to be all but fucking in the hey, streets? Banana hammocks are fine at pride. Yes. Fine, I don't have a problem with that. Other daddies, pups. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Nipple clamps, I, I, cock rings. I think that cock rings. Naked dudes. What? No, naked dudes and cock rings and no. Why? Why does it need to be out in public? Why not? What? Because why does it? Why doesn't it need to be in public? Be why? Why should your aversion to it drive what somebody does at Pride? Because there, there's a reason why public nudity and public <laughs> sexuality is not acceptable in our society. It doesn't I'll continue make, with this raw shit. It makes I'm people uncomfortable. <laughs> Pride is a cool, queer-friendly block party you can attend to meet with. Pride, oh sorry, Pride should be a cool, queer-friendly block party you can attend to meet with organizers and get cute shirts. This is unironic, by the way. He's not joking. Um, I didn't. Everyone say that. should be able to attend. It should be safe and uncontroversial.
Yeah, yeah. Dismissing accessibility as sanitization is really underhanded and disgusting. Safe? Why not? Why should the idea? Why should a gay event be I'm controversial? About a leather what? daddy walking down the street. Oh wait. Uh, holy fuck, Paul. You know what? At the end of the day, I, I never took a strong stance on this position. All I said was, I don't disagree with Vosh on some of this, and you're acting like I'm coming out here advocating that we need to change you pride. You spent 40 minutes agreeing with Vosh on this. I spent 40 minutes arguing with my chat about it. And agreeing with, and taking Vosh's take. A agreeing with some of it, yeah. Which parts don't you agree with? I don't agree that it needs to be completely sanitized. I don't think I would go that far. He didn't say, it. He, he didn't say, I don't it. Think he didn't say call, he says calling it sanitization is bad faith. It's not being sanitized. He thinks turning it into a cool, kid-friendly, queer street fair is what it should be done. You agree? Not necessarily kid-friendly, so but- now you disagree with Vosh. So now you've been informed. Everybody. Thank you, TJ. Are we done here? You know, Paul, Jamie I, Darkie's an idiot who doesn't know I'm anything an about anything. You know what, Paul? Uh, no, oh, I don't know anything about. No, fuck you, Paul. I don't know anything uh, supposedly oh, about you. this about this one thing. So I don't know anything about anything. This is why. This is what I'm sick of, Paul. Uh, like this is this isn't the first time you've dropped a fucking turd of a cold take, Jamie. Uh, go you after think one I just of my. Go after one. Back into this one. Go after one of my other takes. Cold go, Biden Paul, takes Paul, for months. We're not going to agree on this. Go after one of my other fucking takes then. We don't have to I'm agree, not gonna on, agree it. on this because you can't even articulate a point. I've made my points. You I don't even know what you're fucking advocating for or against. Everybody my... in the fucking chat that isn't simping you is confused as fuck right now, Jamie, including me, which is why I called you a fucking idiot in the first place. I, that's nice. Uh, let them be confused. All right. I've made my position so clear. You can go back to your stream now where your simps it... are there and your chat's locked down and people won't say things to you that are controversial Oh, get out of here, Paul. You're the By one the way, with the I fucking love how echo you stole chain. your fucking chat's rules from me. I stole a couple of them, yeah. I was a, I, I banned people arbitrarily. Yeah, I, I that took... That was cute. I took a couple of them, yeah, because I, I oh, like yeah, having yeah. the you idea... You took the whole fucking idea from me, no, Jamie. Yeah, no, I did. No, 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 no Paul. No, no, wait, no, 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 fuck up. Paul, holy fuck. I can't get a word in edge. You call me bad faith, but you're in your fucking chat. All right, Paul. One second. Paul, I never denied that I got those rules from you. channel a bit. Okay, there you go. I never denied that, Paul. Uh, yes, I got the idea from you. I thought it was a good idea. I was in your chat. Tonight, but tonight on your fucking chat, in, in your stream, you said that I ban people in bad faith. But you took uh, your rules yeah, for you banning did. people from me. What? Um, I let people come in uh, and disagree with me. But if I feel like... <laughs> if, holy fuck. Uh, I let people disagree with me, but when I feel like people are acting in bad faith or trying to bait me into an argument when I'm in the middle of something else, yeah, I'm going to time them out because I, I'm not interested in, in someone coming into my chat and being like, ooh, you're, an, you're a leftist, you people right, that are uh, pro-abortion. Like, Jamie, I'd like, to ask, uh, I'd like to ask a question that I think can kind of uh, maybe avail us of another um, mm -hmm. facet of this, which is uh, I've, I've heard you on a few occasions call Paul um, bad faith. Mm-hmm. So what exactly do you feel like is bad faith? Oh, uh, um, I'd like to give you a little uninterrupted time to answer that for me. Okay. Uh, let me just give you like, I object. Let's say no, hold on. I object. I want to give a uh, one minute time. Don't, there's no objection. Go ahead, Jamie. So what I think is extremely bad faith is the fact that rather than uh, uh, disagreeing with my positions, Paul uh, constantly feels the need to attack my character and call me an idiot rather than just be like, oh, here's something that I disagree with you on and let's have a conversation about it. And I think it's extremely fucking bad faith that Paul would uh, start fucking uh, saying that, oh, I'm a rape apologist because I supported Biden. I'm, I don't believe in women's rights because I support... That's... That's an extremely bad faith fucking argument. I don't know how you could classify it as anything, but I I have a political position. I believe that the utility the utility of voting for Biden is greater than not voting for Biden, and so somehow that makes me a rape apologist. Get the fuck out of here. If you're going to say we were going to have a rapist in office, uh, I, we were going to have a rapist in office either way. I would rather choose the, the rapist that's going to fuck us slightly right, less. The choke chain. <laughs> Give me the rapist that fucks us slightly less, Paul. <laughs> yeah, buddy.
that's the problem that I have with your, like, I don't even have to respond. Yeah. That's the problem that I have with your takes right there. If we're going to have to have a rapist, let us choose the better rapist. We don't get to choose like, no what rapist. What is this leftism? We what is this nonsense gobbledygook? And you know that it's fucking double-handed of you to be a fucking voice for women and then to participate in the election of the rapist of terror -y. no fuck you that's bad you know faith. it's a blind spot you, you know in your you're fucking ideology no you know you're you being dishonest like I it up. you know you're being you dishonest like I it up. You, is she, oh is this the new thing now you're gonna fucking talk over me i'm better yeah you're talking you. over me i'm gonna talk longer. over you paul i've been doing it longer yeah, jamie I... i've been doing it longer trust me i was a oh, drunken oh you're louder peasant. than me you're louder than me and you're better at fucking gish galloping I so i'm yeah fuck off i am i'm better at everything than you jamie Great. everything that's that's great that's wonderful i <laughs> holy fuck you know you're being dishonest like i swear to god like i can't be an advocate for women because i viewed uh, uh voting for biden uh, uh, a better act than voting for trump or not voting i didn't want trump to be uh, in office for another four years so i don't care about women fuck you my advocacy for biden is directly tied to me caring for women and caring for lgbt people does not Tara Reed. Holy fuck. I absolutely, if Tara Reed is telling the truth, I feel so bad for her. I would love to have her come forward and tell her story and get justice. But I also. What does it mean that Biden, will, by the election would be overturned because Biden committed a felony and that Trump would be president? <sighs> what is this bullshit hypothetical? That's not going to happen. Just wondering. I, I don't know, Paul. I don't know. I'd have to weigh the options there and decide what 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 would be the worst outcome overall. Because I'm a fucking utilitarian. I believe in whatever has the what most positive outcome versus the, the the most negative outcome. Okay. That uh, yeah. Like how would you help Are you done? Yeah. Go ahead, Paul. Go ahead with what? This is horribly. Hey, this is not. Or, this is not horribly organized. This is not organized. I jump in when it's absolutely necessary. I'm letting them talk. Don't criticize my moderation, or your ass is gone. Like I uh, like. You're here, if you're here so, enjoying like, the fruits of what I've brought you, then you shut the fuck up and you do that. Yeah, or you seriously. Fuck off and die. Sorry, Pleb, I just, please. I said man, I'd be neutral like, towards you. I'm not gonna be neutral towards douchebags in the chat. So. Yeah. Go, go ahead, guys. Sorry. Belly crawling plebs. Put them in their place, TJ. Whip them into shape. They're 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 fucking up this discourse, TJ. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> they're you horrible. Give the, you, we give you the fucking entertainment. You lap it up from the bowl like a dog. Are you shut um, up? <clears throat> All right. So uh, Biden stuff. Uh, go ahead. Whichever one of you has is is the Biden thing over? Is there anything? I don't anyone understand wants to say what on the that? fucking point is. I like. I really don't understand what her contention is. My point was to point out a. So Paul, do you feel like spot. you're? Do you feel like you're bad faith? And if not, no, um, I don't feel like I'm bad faith at all in pointing out a blind spot in Jamie's that's ideology. That's not a blind that's spot. When you, so you don't. So when you say like, it's not a blind uh, spot. Yeah, that's the point of a blind spot. You don't know it's there, dipshit. <laughs> so when you uh. You, uh, Jamie said that, uh, you know, when you call her an idiot and stuff, that's uh, an example of uh, bad faith. If that's all I did, if all I if all I did was like come out and go like Jamie Darkey's an idiot. Paul, that's not all you did. You spent 40 minutes on multiple streams like vitriolic attacking me. I know, that's my point. Me. Thanks for making my and point then, for me, dipshit, and then, once and then, again. And then when I respond and I'm a little mad, you, oh, Jamie's triggered. Oh, but you weren't triggered? You were. You, you spend every single one of your streams triggered. Oh my god, I got I mean, a little that, fucking yeah, that's salty. That's what I do for a living. It's what I do for a living too, bitch. What's your problem? You're allowed to do it, I don't but have I'm a not. Problem. You're the one that had a problem. You're the one that made a, a whole stream called Cutting the Salt with a fucking thumbnail of my face on it to get people's clicks on it and what? shit. My thumbnail had me in, in, in the thumbnail. Or are you talking about my I last stream? I'm sure the final thumbnail will have me on it, right? Uh, that's your. You're kind of like before the thing thumbnail and then you're gonna cut a thumbnail with paul's ego on it right normally, that's what you do with everybody else i normally don't really do that no but i'm I, you I don't, don't? What, what would be there's the, not a picture of there's not a picture of me on the last time you responded to me going like well because yeah i specifically made that stream to respond to you because you wanted me to which you by the way specifically made the stream tonight called cutting the salt to respond to me actually i was like i told my chat at the beginning i was going to address it for like 20 minutes and then move on but oh here we still are 
Isn't that crazy? <sighs> Holy fuck, Paul. I, I Paul, I look, where I'm coming from, I we have our disagreements. I think you're really dumb in some of your fucking positions. But you know what? I've tried my damnedest to be fucking charitable to you. To not jump to conclusions and, and, and uh, assume the worst of you. But you seem to... What is, a, what is an example of, um, of one of those positions that you, you take issue with? Well, like, I think... Like, you say you think he's dumb on some positions. Like, what's a position that, where he is just dumb, flat out? I think the no confidence thing is really fucking dumb. I think it's Why? ineffective. I think all it does is disillusion people further from engaging in, in political advocacy, and 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 it turns people but voting, into but, but, but making people's political advocacy culminate in Biden makes people what more excited to go vote the no next preference. time around when he fucks I them in the ass the whole fucking four soulful. years. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear that. Well, Someone it, donated. You see what I mean? Your whole fucking ideology crumbles at the fingertips of mine. What, repeat what you My just... ideology touches yours and it withers before me. Don't you know that that's what happened tonight? I subsumed you in the previous conversation. Uh -huh. Completely invalidated 40 minutes worth of your work last night and all of your stream tonight. And now I'm invalidating your position on Biden. <laughs> Is that what you think you're doing? Yeah. You just, call, you just said my fucking position on voting no confidence is ineffective. Tell that to the people that have a no confidence vote option in Europe and use it frequently. No, 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 Paul. I want to be very clear with you. I am all, and I've said this before. I am all for uh, uh, advocating for a, 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 uh -huh. a change uh -huh. so that it, a, a no confidence vote is actually on the Who's ballot. Who's going to do it? But you just Who's say, change it? you just Biden? saying, I'm not going to vote isn't going to. Who, no, I didn't say I'm not going to vote. You're, I'm, the, I'm the bad faith one and I'm the straw manner, but I never said I wasn't going to vote, Jamie. You're the one saying. Have you not read the fucking primer on my Twitter? Do you not even know what no confidence is? I take it you don't. One of your little fucking drooling morons probably told you about no confidence. And no, you probably Paul, heard me I've talk listened. about it for like five minutes. No, Paul, I've actually, I actually listened. No confidence about them. Why don't you explain what you think my position is? From what I can understand, your position is basically that voting Democrat has gotten us nowhere over the years and that uh, uh, having confidence in the system is uh, uh, uh you don't have confidence in the system and and no. you you explain your position if i'm paul if i misunderstand I paul, you. you're, I, you're no, the one no. that has a contention with my position why do if i have I'm, to explain my position if to i'm you? misunderstanding it then clarify it paul i shouldn't have to do that though my it's very clear this is your contention. You're, the one, you're asking me Paul, to make your contention. You're the one for you. running around. DJ uh, 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 asked you a question. Give me a specific <sighs> example of something you think Paul is stupid on. You're you the said, one shaming. No confidence. You're the one shaming people for not voting for uh, for voting for Biden. You're the one. Yeah, I do do that because I, I think it was a stupid fucking move for anybody that was a leftist to vote and for a fucking creep. And I think you advocating that people just don't vote uh, for president was a stupid fucking position because I think that if more people listened to you, we would have gotten fucking Trump for another four years. We're probably going to get Trump for another no, four years. No, we're not. Anyway. Holy fuck. Are, now you're the one that's dumb. Do you understand what the fuck is going on in the fucking Republican Party? You really think Donald Trump, after the insurrection attempt, after the, the, the fucking mm -hmm. Republican Party is literally eating itself right now. Uh, the, the fact that Donald Trump, uh, uh, Trump supporters. Yeah, a are statue of Trump's the RNC. Holy fuck. The fact, that, that's fine. Nothing the fact numb. that Trump supporters are, are more and more being, being viewed as, as, as tantamount to Nazis. You really think Donald Trump is going to win again? You're scared you of Trump. You out to Nazis before Donald Trump ever won the fucking presidency. But it's becoming more of the fucking uh, popular opinion that like, yeah, these oh people, are God, people are insane. This is going to sneak up and bite you right in the ass, isn't it? Some of you fresh faced folk. You think Trump is coming <laughs> back? It's going to be like, what? He's back? What? He's pulling 70%? What? But Biden did jack shit for nobody. How did this happen? Oh my God, why am I using Trump? <laughs> or it'll be Pence. You people are just, you're going to be, you're going to act like you're surprised. I'm and not. you do nothing but shit on people like me that are going like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Trump 2.0 is coming soon. If he is, then why aren't we working on coalescing the left? Why you tell behind me? We're too busy shaming kink at pride. And you're too busy shaming people who voted for Biden. So yep. I guess we're both Dumbasses wasting our fucking the time. That did the wrong I guess thing. we're both pulled wasting our boner move. I can't. I, yep. I guess we're both. Four more years of Trump uh, right now would be way worse than four more years of Trump four year, two years from now. 
you, you what's your utilitarian view on that one jamie i don't believe i but believe do nothing in, biden presidency pause between two trump terms i believe is materially in, better than two trump turns Paul, concurrently and then a leftist presidency if trump How? if trump comes back then i i advocate that we fight against him and we don't let him fucking win but right now we have a democratic majority we should be focusing on getting shit done not saying that, oh, fuck the Democrats, they're not doing anything. You should be focusing on getting things done. Like what? Kink shaming pride? Holy fuck. I'm not kidding. What are you doing? I'm trying to advocate for policies that I actually believe will have a Aren't positive effect. are you just doing like drama streams where people are revealing like behind the scenes info and shit? No, Paul. I've, I, in fact, no? before I started my, my drama set, I don't even like calling them drama. Before I started those streams, I'm not going to talk, talk about what they are because whatever, everyone knows what I'm doing right now. I'm exposing some very, uh, uh disgusting people. You want to do leftist work but, out there making sure that we don't get Trump again. I have been doing some some streams that are, yes, a little drama related, but I said right at the beginning of that, that the minute I'm done dealing with that drama, I'm not doing the fucking drama bullshit anymore. I'm going back and, to the political advocacy and you, that I- And you, made a, and you made, a, made a drama video tonight and you're sitting in a drama stream right now that TJ's I didn't do a drama video. I did a fucking, str a, 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 a normal fucking <laughs> chat stream where I was going to sit and talk to my fucking chat and I was, yeah, I'm going to vent about you a little bit because you're a fucking asshole. And, uh, like I own out like you can talk about me Filthy. and I can't talk about you like wh what the fuck Paul? like no you can yeah. I am an asshole you're right see that, that's that's because I have the ability to be self-effacing I know that I'm a dick you don't know that you're you're a pseudo intellectual follower <laughs> that would t that tell everybody tomorrow that the sun shines purple on the earth if fucking Vosh said it like that that's ridiculous that, that, that's like, yeah, no it isn't where's it's your evidence no your no situation no it's your not channel go back and look it's fucking what you do is you take a take that comes out in a 20 minute vosh video and then you take two hours to repeat the same shit uh -huh. that's that's your have, typical jamie darkie take have you ever sat through one of my fucking streams yes unfortunately for me mm -hmm. i actually was up uh uh back in the day a guest on one of your streams and it sucked. Yeah, it you did. sat there and did nothing the whole time and yeah. expected your guests to do all the fucking lifting for you. Yeah, no, my stream sucked. My my channel I'm was like garbage. What I'm doing right now, actually, my my channel was fucking garbage, Paul. Oh, yeah, no. I, <laughs> I, I like I, DJ right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Dude, no, Paul. I, didn't mean to interject, but... I, I fully admit that my channel was fucking hot garbage back then. What? what... It still is. Uh huh. No, I, I believe that I put a lot of fucking effort into into doing my fucking channel, into being better, having uh, my own opinions, and, and into actually advocating for something. There's plenty of shit that I advocate for that Vosh has never fucking talked about. There's shit that I wish Vosh would fucking talk about that he doesn't. They don't own, I seem to be one of the few people fucking talking about. I don't see anyone else uh, uh, out here talking about fucking issues of child abuse and, and issues of... I'm pretty of, parasocial. What? Like you're like... I agree with Vosh on everything, and here's a bunch of shit that I wish Vosh would no, talk about. No, more. I agree with Vosh on some shit. I disagree with him on other things, and there's stuff that like I... Like what? Like, I literally just said, there, there's... Dude, I don't, I, I don't agree with Vosh's uh, uh, takes about, like, uh, 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 violence uh, as, as leftists. I don't agree with with his, uh, you know, take? low-key exactly. takes about violent violence revolution. Violence leftist I is incredibly vague. Yeah, it's a broad topic that I'm I'm overly against. I don't like what, violence. What, wait, hold on, 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 wait, 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 hold, stop, hold on, hold stop for one second. So, just really quickly, what is Vosh's position on that that you disagree with? Vosh has talked about the need for uh, 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 engaging in violence. At, at times and oh look i say i think if if, if uh we're forced to you know that's fine but i i, I don't think it should be uh 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 pushed forward i don't think it should be advocated for that we do violent shit and i don't like his gun takes i don't like guns and i don't like the idea that like oh we, we need to be uh, uh pushing more leftists to, to to have guns have your guns if you want them but like i, I don't want to further a uh, gun culture in this country i think there's too damn many guns fucking guns already them, but i don't want to i don't want yeah, yeah, stop pushing gun man. culture. Wait a minute. Hold on, Paul. Um, would you... So it seems to me, and Jamie, correct me if I'm wrong, that Jamie is saying that an area of disagreement with Vosh would be that she does not like his gun positions or his uh, references to even eventual 
violence. So uh, yeah. Jamie finds herself more pacifist than Vosh. Would you say that is a significant deviation from the ideology of Vosh enough to satisfy no. you no. that she is not a Vosh no. sycophant? And if not, uh, why Vosh not? Vosh is incredibly pacifistic. He doesn't preach violence at all. I don't know what she takes she's talking about. He I doesn't watch talk Vosh. About, he, like, he has a standard fucking lefty position on the riots that took place at, at the you know during the lockdowns and shit last year in 2020, the BLM riots. Um, you know what? But like he 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 didn't advocate for fucking uh, violence any more than the average fucking lefty bread tube person did. He just like was materially supportive of BLM, and uh, pretty much everything he preaches is like, look, dude, we can't do violence right now. We don't have the material conditions to do violence, even if we yeah. wanted to. So let's vote for but Joe Biden over and over again until someday magically, like a the moment comes where like socialism, you know, like, like I said, he's he's made some 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 uh, low key implications that I wasn't fucking. Down. Look, Paul, what what is this? Yeah, oh, no, 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 Paul. So Holy fuck, Paul, what is this gotcha bullshit? Like, oh, come up with a thing you uh, disagree gotcha. with on. No, no, no. I asked a clarifying fucking, fucking question, Paul. What I don't I don't agree with Vosh on everything, but yeah, I agree with him on most things because I I think he's uh very pragmatic in most of, most of his positions. We're, we're almost there, Jamie. I'm. A we're almost there. I'm not allowed. You to, haven't been able to demonstrate one thing you don't agree with. Vosh I'm not on. allowed to uh, agree with Vosh on most things. Everything. Not every. Holy fuck. I'm. I agree with the majority of his positions because I, I. I believe that so the majority make, of his takes are get, correct. Did, did you, you were talking earlier about your personal growth and stuff, and like how you learn to have your own uh, opinions, how you're proud of that and shit. Um. Didn't you just go from having TJ's opinions to now having Vosh's opinions? You never really have had your own opinions, have you? No, because, like I said, I agree with Vosh on some things, but I I have a lot. God, holy fuck, Paul. Who the fuck forms their uh, own opinions in a vacuum without any fucking influence? Hold on. And uh, I'd, I'd rather not be uh, referenced since I can't uh, jump in this by the I rules of the engagement. I was just question. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just don't, don't bring me into it. Don't wait bring... a minute. Hold no, on, don't, moderator. You can't, you can't bring me into your it. Abilities here tonight, sir. Yeah, well, you can't bring me into it because I'm not able to participate in any way that seems biased. So. I didn't bring you into it. I referenced Jamie. Or do you deny that Jamie was a longtime fan and sycophant right. of yours? The point, the point has, but the point's been made. You've made. The you've point gotten is it made. Out, so. I'm just saying we can't go down that that line because so I'll have to from, jump in. You went from being a TJ sycophant to being a Vosh sycophant. That's the point I made. I won't make. I won't. And I think that's extremely fucking. To back me on that. I think that's extremely fucking uncharitable. Uh, uncharitable of you to fucking assume. You can't demonstrate a single fucking thing specifically a take that Vosh has made, and he's a very specific guy, by the way. Like what I, I've watched of Vosh, and I've actually had a conversation with Vosh. Like I said. Very specific guy. He very drills down to the specifics, right? And we're and both I and the moderator have asked you, please, could you provide us a specific example of what you disagree with about Motherfucker, Vosh. I'm not on trial here. Like, I have to sit here and, oh, prove to oh you God. that I don't. No, no, fuck up. No, like, let me. I'm holy fuck. No Paul, answer. let me goddamn fucking finish a fucking sentence. You fucking dick. I swear to God. Like. I, yes, I agree with Vosh on most things. What the fuck is your point? Does that mean that they're not my opinions because I, I, I listened to them and I made the decision to be like, yes, I agree with this. I don't agree with all of Vosh's take. I don't like his gun takes. And I think that, that there's, I can't think of every little fucking disagreement right off the top of my head, but there's been plenty of things that he said that I'm like, eh, I'm not a hundred percent on that. Eh, I wish he didn't say that. I wish he didn't go that far, but like. Okay, I, I fucking, clearly, I, I say, think similarly to the way that he does, so I fucking tend to agree most uh, with a lot of his takes. What's your point? That you have no takes of your own and that you're an idiot and a coward. <sighs> I, I, I don't, like, how do I defend myself on that? Like, I... Would you guys uh Not me? I'm would you guys be willing to take I'm not on the Would you guys uh, so. be willing to take questions or comments from the uh the chat here? I don't know about these plebs, man. Are they gonna treat me with the respect and fucking dignity that I deserve? I mean, you guys me. wanna I'm a, goddamn, look at, I'm a beautiful man. Look at me. If the chat wants to super chat anything, 
TJ is the griftiest grifter. I mean, yeah, this is, I'm not even, it's nakedly about that. It's a hundred percent. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, uh, go ahead, y'all. That's not an argument, Paul. That's from do it live. What's not an argument? Do it live. In fact, never mind. You don't, you don't get this a clarifying This is a stupid remark. idea. This is, you know, Paul, Paul. like they're, they're dumb as fuck in there. They're dumber than Jamie Darkey in there. Otherwise they'd be Jamie Darkey. Yeah, you know I'm I mean? trying to, but I'm trying to encourage uh super chat. So. Oh know. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, they're great. Right. Please. <laughs> Paul, my point is nobody fucking forms their positions in a vacuum. Nobody. Everyone has influences for some of their positions. Some of my Most positions don't come from vacuum Bosch. all of their positions off of somebody else, though. I, I don't. I have plenty of positions that. If you guys want to sound off at Paul or Jamie, throw it, throw it out there. I'll just but super chat it. Got to super chat that shit. I can't. I'm colorblind. I can't see. I got it. Yeah, show me that. That's what I'm looking it's gotta for. Gotta be a super chat. It's gotta be a super chat. You know, I can only see super chats. I'm blind to regular chats. Would you demand <laughs> the same family friendly environment in gatherings like concerts and festivals? I'm assuming that's towards uh, Jamie. I guess that could be towards no, both of you. Because pride is a. Uh, I don't want to argue at the pride thing anymore. God fucking damn it. All I did was fucking say that, yeah, I don't disagree with Vosh and everyone's fucking jumping down my throat like, I, like I'm like i fucking trying to change Just say pride. I'm wrong, Jamie. It'll feel better. You'll feel better at the end. Just say I was wrong about that. Uh, hold on. We got a question for Paul. Paul, are your opinions all just reactions to the fact that you lost a chunk of your audience to Vosh after embarrassing yourself yes. on his stream? Yes. Oof. Oh, my God. I believe God. that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. You know, when I uh, fucking embarrassed myself in front of Milo, man, I knew right at that moment that my fucking career was over and done. And uh, I don't know if it'll ever recover from this Milo debacle. No, no, they said uh, Vosh. Anything else? They said when you talk so, to Vosh, uh, what? Origin of language, 499. I'll debate Paul and his no confidence, but he's a coward and never responds no, to my hey, J hey, Jamie, on hold on, Twitter. hold on, wait a minute. Re reread that one for me in a minute but jamie you're a dumbass who the joke flew right over your head the point was i've i've fucking stood toe to toe with milo during the height of his po popularity and was told by a bunch of empty-headed gong-headed fucking mutton-headed buffoons just like you that my career was over. You lost your audience, dog, oh, dude. No, I Fuck didn't say. Pony, yo. And here I am, still cashing fat motherfucking. No, checks, I'm not Jamie. saying your career's over, but I'm saying well, I, I, no, I think you are bitter. Back. I now think you are back like no, a punk. I think ass. you. I think you are fucking bitter about Vosh. Yeah, I'm which is why you weak you, bullshit, you Jamie. I ain't you know, bitter about you know shit. What? I've been doing this you know since you was in diapers, you know motherfucker. Don't tell me what. Yeah, that's nice. I agree with everything. I shit on your fucking chest, motherfucker. We were there. I pulled down my pants and I shit on your stream. Bitch. I agree with everything pa Vosh says. Fine. All you do is disagree with everything Vosh says. You're a fucking snooze, Jamie. You're a nothing what, what? streamer. You're a fucking restreamer of Vosh's content. Uh -huh. You take something that's presented eloquently. Yeah, a lot of people disagree. And you turn with it you. into an Holy insane fuck. fucking two hour ramble that nobody's gonna fucking listen to. A lot of people do. You're a fucking empty headed buffoon. I do my own leech shit. On the fucking popularity right, wait, of other people. You hold have on, been yeah. your entire fucking career. <laughs> And that's oh, 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 let's hold get on, down to this, Paul. Is wait that what second, this I, is about? Wait, is that on, what this is about? You don't like that I that I wait, fucking second, gain prominence off of your fucking Order. community partner. Order. Hold on. I have a gavel, all right? Order. Motherfuck. Paul and Jamie, would you have preferred a more structured debate, says Dylan Hauser Shulk. No, I would have but I like this kind of this is not a debate. I like this kind of shit. I because I think a structured debate would give a coward like Jamie Darkey some way to like, like, I don't know, just gish gallop for 20 fucking minutes. Like, I like, I like being able to like jump oh, in I when she says something stupid or I'm wrong the one or straw mans mm -hmm. me. I'm the one gish galloping and straw manning. Okay. Uh, no, I would have much preferred a uh, very different discussion. I wanted a good faith discussion with you, Paul. That's why after you fucking made that brain dead fucking take about me being a rape apologist that I said, come on my fucking stream and we'll talk about it. Not because I was trying to start up drama, but because I wanted to get to the bottom of our fucking disagreements rather than further. B oh, okay, Paul. I Holy fuck. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, well, I'm, I'm jovial. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Uh, so uh, the uh, lobsters, uh, sorry, lobotomies and Monopoly says, I don't want to argue the pride thing anymore. Very telling. Good idea, Jamie. 
because yeah, I never I mean, took a like, no what, no what else because I ne- be no because I never fucking took a hard stance on it in the fucking first place. Paul, Just forty minutes worth of Vosh dribble. I Vosh talked about it. It was being talked about. I did a stream giving and my gotta, fucking and thoughts. And you got to take the take that he had, and you fucking stuck your you swallowed your leg just like he did, and you're doing the same thing he's doing. What would you have said? If pretend I, like oh I can hold both positions at once. No, you can't. What you would, just swallowed your leg. Just what say would you I have said? My leg. Like, there is a Paul criticism. The Paul freak show says Paul is a sadly arguing against Jamie to get people off of him so that no one says that Vosh lives front rent free in Ball's salt mine of a skull. <laughs> Pathetic. Uh, there's my response to that. Arch Magos says, I hate yeah, this, never but I'm res- giving TJ money because he's very persuasive. Thank you. Uh, Garen with the tire iron says, this is turning into a bitch boy slap fight and I'm eating it up. Uh, rare. St- <laughs> that's what, that's rare all it was ever going to be. Says, Hey, Hey, what do you fellas think of Jimmy Dore based or cringe? Based. Oh yeah. Jimmy. Yeah. Dore. Oh, Oh, there's some, that's the person Paul gets a lot of his opinions from. Oh yeah. Force the vote guys. Don't vote for what? Democrats guys. What do you mean? What? What, what do you mean? What? A lot of your uh, brain, a lot of your brain says, dead let's takes be honest, come this from. Was really jo- about Vosh. Jim- I don't think I'm gonna be able to disrupt this, but just, uh, just letting you know that he said that. Yeah, so Paul, I get all my takes a from lot of, Jimmy Dore. Not all of them, but yeah, a lot of your brain dead takes. I hear Jimmy Dore spewing that shit first. Okay, so can, what? My, my so point. Jimmy, my, Jimmy Dore has similar takes to my takes. Yeah, what's your contention? Yeah, that's my point. Vosh has similar takes to my takes. I can make the Jimmy, same Jim- goddamn argument. No, you. Parrot exactly what fucking Vosh No, says. I don't. I have my own. As soon as somebody fucking. I have my own uh, perspective. Like confront you on it, you crumple. I crumple? What? Holy fuck. Like tonight. Like, oh, God, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Why'd you come on then? No, because I'm. Se- I. First of all, I came on to get to the bottom of, of whatever fucking shit you have against me. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that was that was answered in my opening statement. You're an Hold idiot. Hold on. I have a $20 person who just asks. Ed Hom, Ed Positivity. Home. Hold on. Wait a minute. This person's looking for a little positivity in this in this shitstorm. Can you each compliment each other about something real quick? Ooh, wow, that's tough, isn't it? You, you want to go for you want to flip a coin? No, because I can actually You know what? I can actually compliment you in good faith. I don't think that you're capable of doing that. So I'll let you go first and then I'll decide whether or not I want to grace you with a fucking compliment that you probably don't deserve. Wow, damn. That's going to be a genuine fucking compliment, man. I can't wait to hear that one. Um, you're not the dumbest bag of rocks that I've ever run across. You know what, Paul? I, no, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a good faith combo because I'm not as much of a fucking asshole as you are. You know what, Paul? You're really good at fucking, uh, 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 you, you, you're really good at, at, at being entertaining. You're good at ranting. You're good at, do, uh, uh, performing. You're good at all of that shit. And that's why I've watched you for years, even though I think your takes are, are brain dead at times. Because I still enjoy so you can't watching. Point out one of them or why it's brain dead or whatever. Yeah, I got well, it. I've already, I've done several fucking. <clears throat> holy no, shit! No, you haven't. I've done several streams uh, explaining my voting for Biden's t- stance, and I've already explained it to you a million times. I did a whole fucking stream responding to you. If you want to s- say that I'm still an idiot because I hold those takes, fine. But like, I, I don't know what that has to do with with uh, 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 m- my character as a person. Uh, goat versus fish says, Jamie, are you goat or fish? Uh, I, I remember you from the LA meetup, yo. I, I'm always goat. Goat forever. All right. Uh, the spiff. Let's see. Just wanted to say thank you, uh, Paul, for making my night much more interesting. Don't feel bad, Jamie. I wouldn't stand a second in the ring with ball. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, at least I'm trying. <laughs> fun no, I don't expect to win. Says single by. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jamie. No, I was just going to say, I don't expect to, like, win this uh, exchange in a lot of people's minds. That's fine. I get it. Paul has a uh, pa- pa- Paul has more uh, influence than me here. I-, I don't I don't really give a shit. I- I'm just Funster sat says single by trans Pisces Scorpio rising. This was an awesome impromptu stream. Paul, does that Fox have babies? The one in your yard? Yeah, that's two kids. Nice. Uh, sup to all the Biden voting Vosh simps. Hashtag no confidence. By the way, just full right. disclosure, I am a Biden voting uh, Vosh simp as well. Yeah, are you a rape um, apologist, TJ? Or, but you're, you're, a, you're a simp for a Vosh I that doesn't exist I can't anymore. Even, Horsecock I, Vosh is gone. I can't even get 
uh, involved. Well, you know, so I, I, I know you I can't. I made a vow. I'm I, not getting involved. That, so. That's that's fair, but I, I know you can't get involved. But I, I wonder if Paul would call you a rape apologist for voting for Biden. Well, he can he can do it any day he wants. Is TJ we, a rape apologist, Paul? Hey, do, I don't. You can't Is TJ drag me dishonest? In. Don't drag me in. We yeah, can't you talk can't. About you, if I'm not allowed to fucking cannot, even invoke I TJ's can't even name, get into you're it. not allowed to fucking like. I can't get into it. So, and yeah, I'm gonna see? get into it if it fucking turns to me. So, I can't fucking do that. Stand on your own argument. I just think it's a bad uh, faith attack. Own. It's bad. Jamie faith. seems to be. Yeah, that's fine. Jamie seems to be spiraling. Can't wait to watch this uh, from the start tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. That's from. Uh, Ian, Ian, I'm wondering how, how fucking high up we are because uh, the spiral started at the beginning and it just never stopped. Miss Alenia Fox, somebody feed Paul a Snickers bar or something. His takes have been very bad and angry tonight. Uh, JC says, why does Paul think Trump will win in 2024? I highly doubt it due to his age. Paul, do you want to briefly answer that? What was that now? There's a lot of reasons. <laughs> Uh, I guess he doesn't want to. Goon oh, no, the no, no, I mean, like, what was the qu like, what, like, so oh, why, said, why uh, won't they, they Trump they run? Don't think, Is that what they're they saying? said? Basically, Trump's too old to run, and they they don't agree with your take. That he's gonna be back. I, I I just don't even know how to counter that, other than that I disagree. I think that like every year for the last I don't or every electoral cycle for the last I don't know how many presidents have just gotten older. And so, like, Biden was the oldest president that we ever elected. Trump was the oldest president before that that we'd ever elected. Hillary Clinton would have been the oldest president we'd ever elected if Trump hadn't been. Um, and so I see uh, no reason to believe why the next president that we elect won't be the oldest, oldest. You know what I mean? Like, goon, try, goon if, as long, like look, dude, you, here's the thing. I'll be, I'll be charitable yeah. about this. The only thing that I think that will stop Trump from running again I won't say whether or not he'll win. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But I've got a good idea that if the fucking country just remains with nothing done for it under Joe Biden, he keeps dropping bombs and, you know, just being a fucking piece of creepy shit, then there's a good chance he would win. That's my opinion. But he won't. The only reason he doesn't run is if he has some kind of medical crisis. He has a heart attack or a stroke or some shit. And then at that point, I think there's a good chance we get Ivanka. All right. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's an upset. I don't. Uh, hold on. We, got, we, we can return to that <laughs> okay. in a minute. Uh, Goon with a tire iron says Paul Fat, Jamie, a rape apologist. Debate over. <laughs> OK, damn. Damn. Both of um, us fucking like uh, Jamie. I'm, I'm closing my channel uh -huh. if you close yours because we've been burned. <laughs> yeah, it's too uh, thick of brush cinders. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's return to this Trump thing for a second, because it seems like <laughs> there might be a little meat on that bone. If you guys are willing to keep going. There might be a little bone in this meat, you know? That's how I feel about it, TJ. All right, there you go then. Um, uh, I listen. don't know. I really don't know what the... I, I can never pin down a Jamie Darkey position on anything, so I don't know what the deal is <laughs> I, here. I don't think Trump uh, has a chance of winning. That's my position. All right, so Jamie, okay. why not? Uh, because I think Trump has... Because Hillary Clinton, hold it's on, her time. Hold on, hold on. I think Trump Jamie, has largely fucked himself in a lot of ways. I think that insurrection thing didn't help optics for uh, Trump and his camp. I think the way... Not for people that want to vote against Trump, it didn't. Hold on. I think Trump and his ilk have uh, com are coming off as more and more unhinged. And I, I look, are, are, is there, are the Republicans always going to be a threat in one way or another? Sure. But like, I, I don't think that Trump himself is going to come back. I don't think he's going to have the money or the ability to. I don't think he's going to like, I, like, honestly, it's very clear right now that all Trump is doing is using his uh, campaign funds to pay off his own debts. And I, I have serious doubt that he's actually going to be able to to run a successful fucking campaign, especially after all the fucking shit. Like, a, a lot of people are, are, are going to just look back and be like, the Trump presidency was fucking dog shit. We don't want to go back to that. Who the fuck is going to want to go back to that? As opposed to the Biden presidency, which has been a better fucking roses so far. So it's been great. I mean, primary Biden. I mean, Biden's uh, probably not going to run in the next election anyway. Hold on. So we have a, chance. a uh, primary Kamala. We have a question for Jamie here from Big Chungus for $5. Jamie, do you agree with Vosh that Marxism is an extension of liberalism and that Marxism, Leninism doesn't exist? How much of a lib are you? Um, Marxism is an extent of liberalism. What? No, I, I, if that's what, I don't think Vosh said that, but I, I don't think that's the case. I, I mean, okay, look, Marxism is, it, uh, I, okay, if, if what you're saying is, cause I believe what Vosh said was that, um, 
uh, uh, Marxism or socialism is, is more like the, the the logical like next step. It's it's uh, you know we had um, feudalism, we had capitalism, we got liberalism. It, it moves a little bit, and and the next step forward is uh, you know Marxist ideology in order to you know um, uh, decommodify and and shit like that. Um, I I, I if, if that's what you mean, then m maybe. But like I, I I think it's 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 the next step forward. It's 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 what we need to be aspiring to. And whether it's I don't think it's just coming to repl a lot of people think, yeah, it's just going to replace it's a new system to out with the old. No, it's it's a way of building upon and making the system that we have that's broken uh, better and, and fixing a lot of the holes that we have in it. And, and you know. Yeah, I. I wow, that. uh <sighs> I cleared it up, man. Yeah. That guy bought uh, a full explanation. I, I don't know. That that was up. a very that was a very odd question. So I, I like I, it was I, I don't very know. odd. Yeah, because it was all direct and asked for like specifics and stuff from you. I know it's odd when people do that. Hey, can I take a pee break real quick? Is that yeah, okay? That's fine. Is, that, is a pee sure. break built into this uh, to the debate format? Can I go pee pee? Sure, go pee. I also need more water. I'll prove it to the moderator. I'm dry. That's fine. And I'm go croaky. Ahead. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. Oh, uh, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, no, I, I'm sorry if that answer wasn't super direct, but I I don't feel like the question was super direct. I I don't know if Marxism is an extent. It depends on how you look at it. You can view it as something yeah. new that that that's gonna like uh you know re replace the liberalism, or you can view it as like the next step. I will tell you I one thing that I've learned. Uh, just as a bit of, of charitable advice is that if I don't really understand a question I'm asked, I usually just admit that. Um, I feel like like maybe I that mean, was a little bit like, I don't know. Sure. No, I, I will say like I, I didn't fully understand what that person was trying to say, but I'm, I try to answer right. it to the best of my uh, ability. Whatever. I got you. I, I would have just said like, uh, I don't really know what you're talking about. I have to like look into whatever you're saying. I don't really yeah. get it. No, fair enough. I, I think it's like I think it's better. I'm just. I'm really saying that in all charity because I, I really did kind of like um, not follow no, I, I, that answer. I get that. No, I, I don't think my – look, yeah, I, I will be honest. I, I don't know all the specific details about, the, you know, Marxism, <clears throat> liberalism, and the, the – you know, look, I know what policies I want to, to, to push for, all right? I, I, don't right. Think, I don't think theory is the most important thing. I think just pushing policies and be like, no, this is what we need to do. You know, I don't really care so what – about Marx. What are like? What would you say are your like? I've never boilerplate. What is okay? I haven't either. Yeah. What would you say are your boilerplate plate like beliefs then? Like, what do you want to see implemented? Is it basically the Bernie Sanders agenda? Is it something that goes further than the Bernie Sanders agenda? Um, I'd go further. I want to decommodify everything. I want to decommodify healthcare, housing, uh, food to an extent. I want to decommodify education, and uh, you know, I want to work towards uh. uh uh, 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 democratizing the workplace and and democratizing everything really communities uh, uh, so you boards. want more public ownership of yeah like goods and services in the yeah and in like whatever and uh like so basically just like decommodify everything and well everything that's a necessity i believe in in so would you say like when you decommodify for... it are you talking about like a decentralized like sort of like social order where like we don't have an overarching state or is there like a state entity oh no that's i'm, I'm not like, acting on behalf of the people like well we can't get rid of the state anytime soon um i'm for saying that yeah no we we need um we need to uh, decommodify all the necessities. I'm still for keeping a market where, you know, non-necessities are still uh, sold. You know, I, I want innovation, and I believe that if necessities are decommodified, we can have that innovation, and we can invent better things. We can create better art, you know? That's, that's, that's the kind of society that I'm for. But in, in the short term, no, there's, there's, we can't get rid of any state. In the long term, uh, maybe, but I, yeah. Uh, so here is a person that's thrown out a random thought for $10. Uh, this is rare. Uh, Stern says some folks say that the main existential difference between the bread tube id poll left and the class reductionist dirtbag left. I think this person has fucking. <laughs> OK, I shouldn't be providing color commentary uh, is narcissism and extreme mental illness. 
your thoughts. Go ahead. Uh, wait, what? Uh, so basically, I'll reread it, and I don't really blame you for this person's got a little bit <laughs> up their ass, I think. I'm just going to yeah. fucking say it. Some folks say that the main existential difference between the bread tube id pole left, so basically bread tubers, yeah. and, and the class reductionist dirtbag left, so that basically, like, I don't even know an example, but maybe Paul, um, is narcissism and extreme mental illness. Uh, Your thoughts. Which, I don't even know who, who's being accused yeah, of being which, narcissistic and mentally ill. Yeah, like, which are you saying is... Okay. That's my question. I, I don't know. I'm assuming they're saying that the I, I'm I assume by dirt oh, bag. Oh, wait, $100, fuck the $10. $100 guy came in. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh I mean, everyone has a voice here in the TJ channel. Everyone. Um please discuss hashtag no confidence once Paul comes back. I want to hear Jamie's criticisms and Paul's responses to those criticisms and then Jamie's responses to Paul's responses and so on and so forth. Uh all right. Well, uh, okay. No confidence. This person paid a hundred dollars for it. I will fucking facilitate that. Well, I, I want to know that. No, wait, this, since this is what I they want. Since they I said I want to hear Jamie's criticisms and Paul's responses. So, Paul, very briefly, what is hashtag no confidence? Yeah, summarize it, please, since I don't know what it okay, is. Okay, so it is a movement of people who see the writing on the wall that the DNC is a poisonous entity that funnels leftist energy into neoliberal action, both in the Senate and the House and nationally and at the state levels. Uh, pretty much a failure across the board. So I encourage people to register to vote as independents, to vote down ballot on uh, initiatives locally, um, to vote on local non-DNC or RNC affiliated candidates, but in uh, some of the many choices that you're given where you don't have a non-DNC or RNC affiliated candidates, uh, I am uh, saying that people should write in no confidence in those uh, instances to remove themselves from the poisoned electoral process and to starve, hopefully, the DNC um, so that it can be replaced with a uh, an organization that actually supports people-based, worker-based, labor-based leftist action and not stupid, empty-headed fucking drivel like Jamie Darkey talks about all mm -hmm. the goddamn day. Uh, <laughs> so that's what no confidence is about. Uh, voting locally, voting on things that aren't affiliated directly with some poisoned piece of shit, fucking false duopoly party. And, um, or, you know, I, I've told people too, because this came up kind of early on in the movement, like, what if I want to vote third party, Paul? I'm not looking over your shoulder in the fucking voting booth. Really, all I care about in the movement is that you didn't vote for a fucking DNC hack. So if you're willing to make that commitment, then you can vote third party all fucking day. I don't give a shit. So there you go. There's Hold on, no, we have an no we have an agitator in the chat here. Oh shit! Mm. Origin of language. What is your issue? You keep spamming the same thing. What's he you saying? I've not I have not seen a super chat for from you. So yeah. What, what is your question? Didn't I gave you money me? for an answer. I gave you money yeah, yeah. for an answer. Lay it out. You what is, what is your? They what do you want? Question like way earlier. I thought we already read it. What do you want here? Yeah, you have like you five fucking seconds to answer the goddamn question and say what you want. What's he building in there? Yeah, what's your goddamn question? I don't need no fucking agitators in the goddamn chat. I don't put up with that shit here. Um. Paul is out of control. I agree, bro. I'm doing 500 right. and out of control. I guess I fucking brought the conversation to a halt with my being overly concerned with what's going on in the chat, but oh, motherfucker, you, you're quiet, baby. You know what's I've going seen it on 500 in the chat? Times. So anyway, fuck bullshit, dude. As usual. Oh, oh, he was the fuck. dude that said he wanted to debate Paul. That's what he's bitching about. Oh, well then, fucking take that up with Paul on your yeah. own fucking time. Yeah, shut up, no, fuck fucking him. Moron. He don't get that. He didn't. He didn't pay me for shit. Yeah, shut up. Just, anyway, just take um, a time out. I don't want if if you fucking bring that shit up in here again, ban his ass. Um, anyway, guys, so that Paul laid out what no confidence is. What's the problem with no confidence, Jamie? Uh, my criticism is basically that I don't think it's going to be effective. I don't think just not voting for the DNC. I don't think that's going to hurt the DNC. I think they're just going to start focusing on catering to the people who actually will vote for them. And you're not going to convince white, uh, uh, suburban middle-class liberals to just not vote Democrat 
because it'll 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 destroy the party and start something new like the the left the the, the uh, leftist socialists we are a a minority in this country a tiny tiny minority are, we don't have much of a voice i really don't believe that us being like well we're not voting for president we're just not doing it no confidence i don't think that'll have any effect whatsoever i think all it does is give the dnc further excuse to not listen to us if it doesn't have any effect whatatsoever, isn't it like a morally neutral Paul's action? Is meaningless. If Paul I, wants to isn't that better than having the effect so, of like further financing bombing of Palestinian children well, or Yemeni genocide it, it, and stuff? Maybe from your perspective, maybe. it might. Yeah, here holy, we go. Holy fuck, Paul! Like, whatever. Uh, I'm trying to stay calm. Okay, maybe from your perspective, yeah, it's like a morally. Uh, uh, whatever action but like I, I no i do think that it has like a, a negative effect i think telling more people to not vote democrat will mean that we're gonna have more and more republicans winning and i don't think republicans are you just good for said this that party. fucking republicans can't win again after the, the goddamn fucking if we if we play our cards right not if well, not if we got people but, like okay so not, how are we playing our cards right now not if we got people like you running around telling everyone to not vote for the democrats what we should oh be, it's my it's gonna be my fault I, now if you guys lose is that so you're you're using, you're unveiling the next when so that when the democrats take a fucking fat dick in the mouth in 2022 paul in the midterms you're gonna be like oh see it was i, I oh, dude Paul, I'm like fucking Nostradamus with Jamie Dark. You're Here's the, one, the take. You're the one blaming it's people like Paul's ego that made this happen. Uh, if Paul's ego would have been uh, just gotten on the board, then we wouldn't have lost the house. Uh. Paul, you're the one blaming people like me for bombings in Syria or whatever because you're like, oh, well, you voted for Biden. Yeah, because you vote for the people that perpetrate them. Yeah. Who do, who should I blame? I, nev I never. The people that didn't vote for that person? The I Trumpies? I never said it's your fault if they don't uh, if Republicans win, but I do think people like well, it can't you can't be because I didn't vote for them. People like you contributing to this narrative that we shouldn't be voting Democrat does if more and more people jump onto that and, and your movement becomes some widespread thing where a lot of lefties just don't want to vote Democrat, then yeah, it, it might be your fault if your movement is the one that that uh makes it so democrats never win again if my movement becomes a widespread thing your ass will be right there on the bandwagon and i'll welcome you too oh no paul i've said that if 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 your movement actually becomes widespread and effective that oh no i will absolutely fu because i'm interested do you think it's going to become effective with dumbass empty-headed fucking morons like you arguing why against it paul, constantly but not actually functionally opposing it why can't we have a fucking dialogue about it like why because like you're too dumb to have a dialogue jamie as i've been telling you all night and you don't seem to get it yet and here you are again you've arrived at it again jamie darkey doesn't understand the point i may not be as educated you just, you on just every told single me that if my so you're waiting for my for my movement to get big so you can jump on it paul how I, do you think my movement's gonna get big with dumb asses like you paul, dragging their heels and voting for the kid sniffer i am for leftist advocacy what, whatever type of leftist advocacy. voting for the dnc then because there's fuck. no leftists over there i am for whatever leftist la advocacy on, paul, I, believe I wanted to uh i want to jump in with a commentary from brianna camp for five dollars paul will never get his ideas going the way he speaks to people it's disgusting and rude don't mock the people you want to win over oh my god dude bit. brianna camp is a regular in my fucking ideologies number one number two i don't really give a fuck about winning people over brianna i then guess what's that's your, a, wait, a personality wait. flaw of mine but i'm not out here to politic what are you doing I'm out then, here Paul? to say what i believe what is no and, confidence uh, when i when it, dude and i'm sorry hold on jamie quit fucking jumping in oh she i can oh you can me. interrupt me but i can't interrupt you she didn't ask you shit jamie so please know your role just sit down and yeah, shut no, my up. Pla I need to stay in my place, mister. Oh, you I'm okay, so okay so you want to answer the five dollar oh, super chat? Okay, let me get out of my lane then. Go ahead. How are you gonna win people over? Like what is no confidence if you're not trying to win people? What are you even talking about then? You don't wanna win people over? Like what what is this? You're not trying to win me you're not trying to win anyone over? What is a movement then if you're not trying to win people over? Like what are you doing other than just getting performatively mad? That's all I see from your fucking channel. That's all I see from any movement that 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 that, that you claim to be a part of. Performative but if it gets anger. big, you'll join it, though, right? If it 
Okay, let me fucking clarify because you did. <laughs> you holy fucking fuck. hypocrite! You didn't you let me. Punk ass you hypocrite! Get, me, get, get the hints for me. This is why you're an idiot, Jamie oh, Darkey. J TJ, can I please finish? I Holy fuck. Uh, go ahead. Oh, oh TJ, yeah. jump in for me, please, here, and Hold let on. me answer All the right. question that was directed there at Paul, are, uh, please. Because, there are no, some people. Yeah, no, ahead, be be because TJ interrupted me originally with that super chat. What I was trying to say is, look, I am for leftist advocacy. I want the left to fight it out, come up with whatever we decide, whatever we end up deciding as the left is uh, going to be our uh, 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 movement going forward. I will uh, uh, fall in line and say, yep, this is what we need to do in order to uh, 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 achieve leftist uh, leftism in this country. But I can disagree with you and say, no, I don't think your movement should be the one uh, 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 to be at the forefront. But if it does Until become... it is. But if it does... And then you'll be a good little follower if it, and act like you believed in it all the time. I was a, no, a ground floor. Uh, no. No uh, conference. Uh, like, what is the... What is these bad faith assumptions? No, I will fully admit that I was not always on board, but I'll say, you know what? This is what the left has widely uh, uh, accepted and agreed to. So fine, if this is our path forward, I won't fight it and I'll get on I'll get on board because I want right. the left to win. I want us to do better. And if my oh, ideas- Oh, you want us to win, but you think that my strategy would make us lose. But if the whole left adopted it, you would adopt the losing strategy because you're a bah, bah, bah. Black sheep, if have the, you any whoa? If the whole left, if the whole left were to adopt your strategy, I wouldn't really be able to fight against it at that point, and I'd have to say, well, this is what the left is doing now, because I've said, and I've made this criticism of the left many times. Republicans, and I know whatever people are gonna say, oh, this is a Vosh take, but whatever. Republicans are really fucking good at falling in line and getting done what they need to get done. The left is not. So I want to see the left. I want us to fight it out. I want us to try to come to the best possible solutions possible. But then once uh, uh, the prevailing uh, 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 ideas end up winning in the left, I will say, look, I will do whatever it takes to make the left win. Because... Yeah. Wherever, wherever somebody with a strong enough personality will uh, will lead you, you will follow. We've established Holy that fuck. at least tonight, if nothing this else. This is so bad faith. Like I, I oh yeah, everything's bad faith. This no, it is so is. bad faith. Just put it on repeat. Just get a sound drop. It like. is. That's that's your that's the fucking core of your fucking arguments. It's just bad faith whining. I I don't know what to fucking do with you. Like I, I'm I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to be fucking charitable. I'm trying to even fucking give you the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what? If your movement ends up winning out and I end up being wrong and the wider left ends up saying, yep, Paul's right. We're getting on board with Paul. Then I'll say, you know what? Fine. I was Don't wrong. And Did you even, uh, you know, you know a term I never heard Jamie Darkey use until Vosh became popular? Bad faith. It, yeah, because I. I Don't it, bad faith. Yeah, so bad faith. Because, Paul, well, well, I disagree with you, Jamie Dark. Oh my God, you're so bad faith. I it's like a fucking, it's like a tick with you now. I probably used In fairness, enough. Bosch did introduce many terms into the popular. Uh, like, I probably on, no, but. Paul. I would have called you disingenuous before that because it, it's the same idea. Yeah, I use bad faith more because it's yeah, it's bad become faith. it's something that people say. Holy fuck! What what, what is this? What, are you mocking my, my my way of speaking? Like what? What is this? Oh my God, here we go, dude. Victim fucking Victim. complex oh, bullshit. You throw Get nothing but yourself, you throw bitch. nothing I'm not but ad, you. You throw I've got nothing five but trans people ad on my mod team on my channel. Ad I know more and, trans people oh than you've probably ever met in real life. Don't get on my fucking case, bitch. I'm a I'm a queer from back in the day. Don't get on my fucking case. You throw, I don't fucking kowtow to your moral fucking. Oh, you you making fun of the way I talk? Yes. What, I'm making why? fun of you. Why do you need You're to do that shit. to make your argument? I, I, I'm not doing that to you. I don't have to do it. I choose to do it, dummy. Well, that's the difference between you and me. I, I try to at least oh, be fucking yeah, charitable you to you. take the high road and I'll yeah. take the low road and I'll yeah, kind of. uh, Just so you yep. guys know, you are giving solace to the enemy. Master Rebel says, as a far rightist, this infighting is very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, so I bet it is. You guys are giving, you guys are aiding you guys are giving fucking comfort to the enemy. So. This is I don't want these discussions to be vitriolic like this. I want them to be fucking intellectual. I want us to try to come to fucking some kind of fucking middle ground or some kind of fucking like holy I'm fuck. Gross. I want to make How am I fucking gross. People. Wait a minute. Like like look at the look at the fucking Jamie fucking cheerleader squad in your chat. Oh my god, Paul's gross. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't let Jamie walk down the. Are you bullying me for being trans? No, dumb bitch. 
Uh, I'm not bullying say, you for being trans. I'm bullying you for being an idiot. I didn't say you were bullying me for being trans. I said, why are you mocking me? Oh, you weren't going down that road? Oh, 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 you're trying to make fun of the way I speak? Is that what this is? You weren't going down that road, Jamie? I'm bad faith, though. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't come check my cred, bitch. I've been I've been queer since way before you came out. Don't check my shit. What is this? Uh, Don't fucking wait. even insinuate that shit to me. Dude, oh, unless you're willing to back it with something. I've been around longer than you. All. I'm older than you and I know more, so shut up and get in uh, line. Oh, yeah, I do. I've lived more life than yeah, you've you know had what? on this fucking planet. The minute, the, uh, yes. in my opinion, I do know more the, than you. The minute people get old I enough. I was queer while you were yeah. boiling in your dad's balls, dumbass. That. The minute people, uh, in my down opinion, down no. and fucking respect and read a book. I'm not gonna respect you because you're shut no your fuck, hole. fuck you. I'm not gonna respect you just because you're older than me, then Paul. He, then shut up, then. What? You're seriously gonna pull age rank on me? I'm older than you. I've been around longer, I so I know more. What are you gonna do you're about not allowed it? to have an opinion. It. I've been gay since before you were boiled out of your dad's balls. What does that have to do with anything? Lived experience, you dumb fuck! What about my lived experience as a closeted fucking trans person for my entire life? Oh, that doesn't fucking Great, matter. Good on you. You want to fucking hold that over my fucking head as a queer? <laughs> uh, hold on one second. We all Johnny have Lopan says, I'm a leftist that will advocate against women's rights and pretend to care about the LGBT as I tell them how they are allowed to express themselves. I, I never think told that's a people how... At, uh, I never told Jamie people there. how they're allowed to express themselves. I just said maybe it's not the greatest idea to put this thing front and center on display in a movement where we're trying to pull in new people Dude, your and fucking trying to friend do Chelsea outreach. Chelsea calls you out on trying to control people, dumbass. Go look at the stream. It's all still there in the chat record. You saying Chelsea's fucking misrepresenting you too? You were you were hella fucking blatantly telling Ch people how they should act. I think and shit Chelsea in the chat. Mis uh, misunderstood my position. Do. And you know what? If me and Chelsea no, have just you know what? If me and position, you know what, Paul? You know what, Paul? Right. Me, me and Chelsea have a, a, a disagreement in this position. At least Chelsea didn't go do a fucking stream ranting about me for forty minutes, throwing ad homs and mockeries does. at me. Uh, that's TJ, what I do. TJ, that's what I, that's my job. TJ didn't do that fucking either, and I disagreed with him on this too. No, he just did that on another stream where he fucking pwned your ass and then had to come back and apologize to you. Pwned my to ass? This. Yeah, I didn't bring you up, but I just responded. That's fine. I'm just saying to both of you. Please, please, please don't instruct me. Instruct Jamie, please. I didn't bring you up. I'm just throwing it out there into the room. Because once again, I can't. Jamie's the one that keeps myself. coming to you for the hug box, not me. What? Okay. Can I get some uh, hold on, I have a uh, ten dollar stream. Uh, let me know. I just got that. Okay, there we go. Ten dollar. Hi, TJ. Nice skeleton. Is that an alien? Cool, cool. Fun times. My ears are bleeding. Sorry about the ear bleed. Um, Paul Nuke incoming. There you go. Yeah, the skeleton is an alien. Uh, it's you can't even. See, yeah, you can see it right now. I guess there you go. Yeah, it's a little alien skeleton. It's named Greg. So, um, for Paul, any particular reason you changed sunglasses? Mid my swag level changed <laughs> like between the beginning of the debate. At the beginning of the debate, it was. The fucking aviators with the American flag swag level. And then it leveled up to the soccer mom swag that you see me sporting here. I call this the Honda Odyssey about to take Aiden to the soccer game swag. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I, I, I think you're just trying to hide your tears there, Paul. Good one. Well, the reason... The reason I don't want to be involved from the chat person there, the reason I don't want to be involved is because I told the part of the prerequisite for this even starting was I was like, I will not take a side. Yeah. I am not here to be on anyone's side. I'm just here to facilitate the conversation and to direct it as much as possible. Uh, without, of course, um, trying to control it. I, I, I should, I should um, say I, I probably don't have much longer. So I, whatever you want to do to wrap this up or, or start uh, winding it down. Uh, so the East says, sounds like, that's yeah, fine. I'll uh, wrap it up in a minute. Right. Sounds like Dusty jumping around saying he doesn't want to control people, but he doesn't want to let, well, we're not, we're not talking about Dusty here. Fucking whatever. Um, okay. So um, we've heard a lot tonight. I guess we started with five minutes a piece. I guess we can wrap with five minutes a piece if you want. Yeah, sure. uh, of course you can use as much or as little of that five minutes as possible. Um, so uh, Jamie went first last time. I guess Paul can go first this time. Uh, sure. Um, Jamie, summarize Darkey. what you've heard tonight. What do you, what have you come to Paul? 
Uh, well, you guys remember I started at Jamie Darkey's an idiot and doesn't know what she's talking about and gets all her opinions from everybody else and is a follower and doesn't add anything to the discourse and, you know, like would fucking cartwheel off a cliff if, you know, the right person told her to do it and would, or at least would advocate for other people to cartwheel off a cliff. I don't think she'd do it herself. Um, and I end tonight's, I don't, by the way, I, I don't think tonight was a debate. It was a, just a moderated discussion at best. Um, but I, I end the debate at, um, Jamie Darkey is an idiot, uh, who doesn't know anything, who wouldn't have an opinion if there wasn't somebody around that's smarter than her to give it to her and is really adverse to just reading and informing herself. And um, we'll double and triple down and then play the victim card and then um, cry about it and then make insinuations uh, about me being anti-trans or some shit, which is just completely baseless because that's where cowards retreat when they've been defeated. And uh, tonight, I want to let everybody know in the chat that tonight was easy. I would do this at breakfast before I start my work day. And uh, I'm happy to do this. Uh, not with Jamie, though. Jamie only gets this once. But I'm happy to do this with any dumb fuck that wants to, you know, step. And that's it. I yield the balance of my time. All right, then. So, Jamie, you've heard what Paul has to say there. What do you think about that? And what do you think about what's happened here tonight? Um... I, I honestly think what's happened here tonight has been mostly a waste of fucking time. Uh, I'm glad people were entertained by it. But um, as I said before, I, I think a lot of Paul's arguments uh, come from spite and are made in extremely bad faith. I think that uh, Paul gets overly emotional and mad rather than uh, pragmatically ap approaching a lot of uh, uh, positions and I think Paul has a, some kind of like deeper fucking problem with me that I, I still haven't gotten to the bottom of. And I, I don't know what it is, but I uh, honestly, um, you know, I only ever wanted to uh, uh, agree to disagree. I wanted to have a, a dialogue. Um, I, I never wanted to get uh, angry and vitriolic. I've, I've like I said, I've watched Paul for years. I've, I've respected Paul for years as a content creator that I enjoy. Um but tonight, as well as in the streams prior, I think Paul has, uh, you know, shown that he, he doesn't really have much of an argument against me, except I'm I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about and uh, <laughs> and, and just ad homs and mockery. And I, I think it's really fucking uh, weak. I, I think it's some weak shit. And. You know, I, I, I hoped that I could come here and and maybe build a bridge with Paul. It's clear to me now that that is not a possibility. So I'm going to go on uh, from tonight and uh, I'm going to continue to uh, do my shit. I'm going to continue to do my fucking channel because Paul can, uh, you know, try to sit here and pull rank on me all he wants and, and act like I, I don't have a right to, uh, uh, I, I don't know, speak on certain things or whatever. But you know what? Paul doesn't get to say what... Uh, I'm allowed to talk about and not talk about, and he doesn't get to say whether or not I have a channel. So I'm going to do my shit, and I'm going to uh, disengage from Paul. I, uh, I I really don't care to have another uh, discussion with you, uh, as it, it seems like it just evolves into yelling and mockery, and I... I'm 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 more interested in in building bridges with people and uh, uh, trying to come to some kind of common ground rather than just uh, uh, completely discounting someone for holding a, an opposing position to you. Um, and so yeah, I uh, I I I I I guess uh, that's 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 all. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll yield. I don't have much more to say. I've already said everything I need to okay. say. All right, then. Speaks for itself. Oh, man. <clears throat> the end of a long association. Oh, man. Can we, get, can we take a moment of silence? <laughs> Paul, right. Paul, if you ever want to associate well, with me again in good faith, feel free. If you want to have a discussion, I'm, I'm always open to it. But no, I'm, I'm done with it. Does good faith mean not calling you when you make fucking vague 
statements about shit and never actually get to the point. Good faith because means if that's what good faith means. Then I'll never approach you. Good, in good faith, faith. Good faith means not making uh, uh, right. dumb fuck assumptions about me and what I what my positions are and my intentions behind them. When Fighting. you don't fucking know, oh, you know provided the dumb fuck end. positions. I didn't have to All right. provide. Any you guys, did you guys want to go a little longer? It seems like you might. No, have I'm, I'm dude. I'm, I'm look, dude. Sorry. Here's the thing. I was thinking to wrap it up, but you guys seem like you still want to no, fight. I mean, I'll so. fucking I'll hit the gas if you know, because I don't give a fuck. I mean, is there any? Is there more fucking fuel in this tank? Is there shit that needs to be said? Because you guys are basically Jamie's saying right now, wait, ink. she hold wants on. to get out. You guys are like, saying um, right now, basically, like fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> We're going our separate ways. We've hashed it out. But has it hashed out? Has you have you guys come to like? Have you said everything you want to say to each other? I, I don't know. I, I would have liked to get to the, the I, I tried to ask Paul, what is your deeper problem with me? But every time I ask, he just says I'm an idiot. So I, whatever. I don't know what Paul's problem is with me. I suspect that Paul's problem is with me is that he just doesn't like me and doesn't like no, that I've gotten. I try to uh, tell you, like, honestly, Jamie, like all fucking joking and entertainer shit aside, I try to tell you what I don't like about you and you just don't want to hear it what you don't like about like, me is, is based like on assumptions you. no it's not based on assumptions it's based on uh, no no i'll i'll like i'll tell you, don't you if watch you want me it. enough to know anything about me no i do i've no, i've known about you for a long time jamie no, you've been you've a part known, of the community you've for know, a long no paul i'm gonna say this time. i the, the the person that you went went on my channel back that i was not i'm not the same person you can i didn't say you were jamie you're acting like you know me really well when I don't think you fucking know the first thing I about don't, me. I didn't say I know you well. I said I've been aware of you for a long time and I know what your game is. What is my game? You latch on to personalities that are bigger and better than you. And you parrot what they say. We all need... And attempt to look as smart as they are. A lot of you people... You steal their aesthetic. No. You steal their presentation style. We're You're all like one of a billion different people who don't have a fucking like vision for themselves or how their content at the very least <laughs> i absolutely do my vision for my content is i want to talk about hope and and positivity and not being so goddamn negative all the time i want to be why do you do nothing but drama on your stream i don't i'm doing a drama arc right now because den, dude I I'm doing a drama arc right now because, as you know, uh, uh, there are people out there who have abused their positions of power to hurt multiple fucking people, and I am friends with multiple victims of this person, and I want to give them a platform, my tiny-ass little fucking platform, because no one else would fucking talk about it, so I'm allowing them to come on my platform to maybe push this a little bit further. But that's that's it. I've told people who have... Uh, I've said, if you're coming to subscribe to me for the drama, unsubscribe when it's done, because I promise you this is not going to be the same channel when it's done i don't post to be a moderator I, okay dude when i look at the views on your channel don't and criticize how the, my shit. what well i'm sorry what no i said uh someone was like is tj supposed to be a moderator i'm what am i supposed to, what do you want me to moderate here am i supposed to be like guys calm down like they're fucking hashing it out what do you want fuck you why there's no need for me to what interject, I I interject to when i need to or when i need to yell at you for being stupid in the chat all right. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Not only does Chelsea win, but Chelsea was right. Chelsea's always right. Um, I, I learned that from you. Um, <laughs> look, uh, I'm sorry. What the fuck was Jamie Darkey just talking about? Yeah, you were talking when TJ interrupted. Uh, you. Basically, you guys are Paul. You're you're telling Jamie what you don't like, and you said oh, that okay, uh, like that, like she Jamie, latches honestly, on like, to larger personalities. I'm all about radical whatever. honesty because I've had people say some shit to me that like I thought about down the road, and I was like, okay, you know what I mean. And I'm not trying to give that to you uh, because I'm just gonna give you the like you asked like what's your deeper problem with me, and the answer to that is there's no deeper problem. Like, honestly, your existence is something that I only notice when it comes across my path and shit. And I really don't care what you're out there doing. And, you know, I don't oppose or support you, really. But I've been aware of you for a long time. And I'm, and you finally have, like, not necessarily reached a level of notice, but you've insinuated yourself in enough shit that you got on my radar. And when I checked it out, it's bullshit.
and it completely contradicts everything you just said about your channel, by the way. It's been nothing but drama. No, what you, you go look at your fucking channel. All the views on your channel are drama not, views. Uh, like, well, uh, the uh, ones my, where you don't... Uh, no, 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 Jamie. Paul, let's be no, real. Don't make me go get the fucking shit and share screens. No, my biggest... Right? No, fu Paul, let me finish. My biggest streams, yes, are uh, drama-related. And I, drama. do I do realize... And that you're going to dip your fucking toe right back in the well you make your money on drama no i don't make i don't make money doing this paul i make nothing you don't you don't take i make supers? Bar i make barely anything i'm lucky if i make like 60 dollars 50 dollars a month doing this if, that's, if I'm that's lucky. not nothing like I, the, trust me that's not nothing no, sure you but better like, be you better be thankful for every one of them no dollars. i absolutely am and i absolutely am grateful to all my fucking subscribers but like i don't make a living off of this and honestly i don't want i do I don't want to make a living off of drama. I've said I, I'm perfectly content once I'm doing, I'm only doing the drama shit because it's something I feel like I need to do right now because I need to expose a predator that no one else wants to expose. When I'm done- Not holy all the drama shit has a, everything to do with a fucking predator on your channel. What? Your channel was drama way before no, it wasn't. this latest Wait, you're, if you're going to talk about stuff that's from before I came out and like way be back when- No, you, I'm not even talking about stuff What's the drama then? Out. I talk about politics and shit. What's the Dude, drama? You were involved in all kinds of fucking drama back in the day. Back in the before day, whole, I don't even. Paul, I realize these accusations came out as Jamie Darkey on the Hopium Den, which, by the way, that little cute little name that you picked, Opium Dens, were places where women were raped for money. Yeah. So you might want to think about choosing something a little more cheerful or a little more woman friendly for your name. Uh -huh. But you know, I'm just talking about inclusivity. I, I'm it's a den of hopium. I want to push hope hopium. Uh, okay. No, it's it's you you took it from opium den though, right? Yes, it's a play on words, Paul. Opium dens were places where women were raped for money. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. I, I, I don't think the name is that problematic. I don't know if if people in the chat, if you guys think it's problematic, I'll, I'll address it. Well, we might work. I, I've been you know, I've been trying to come up with a decent name that's hopium related. You know, I, it was called the hopium hour before I stopped calling it that because my streams aren't an hour and, you know, I'm not fucking egghead. But um, <clears throat> I, 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 yeah, I, whatever. I've been trying to come up with a name. I thought it was a clever play on words. If, if people I'm think just, it's Jamie, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Paul, well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm trying to engage. No, I'm trying to engage with your criticism in good faith. All right, if you I'm think I'm just uh, fucking with you. Look, we're at the end here. Like you said, you wanted the end. That was fucking. I was trying to make a joke. All right, but all I'm saying is, no. I ever for the last few months, uh, for, for the last year, I have made an effort to like not. Uh, 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 engage in drama a shit ton or, or at all like I've just you, made you failed how how what because I'm 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 you're in it right now your channel has been nothing but it you just admit that your big streams are all drama streams and I do streams and, in between that where I specifically put right, in the title and no don't drama. get any views no, they and get, so you, you go back to the drama well get, no, I go to the drama because it needs to be talked about I'm trying to talk about something that, that no one's talking about. I, like I said, I want, I, I've been interviewing victims of a predator when, when all the victim stories are out and when I feel like I've sufficiently swayed popular opinion on this predator, then I will move on and go back to what I enjoy doing because I don't enjoy doing the drama. It stresses me out. It's not something I have it. fun doing. You hate it. You hate it. I can tell I with do. every fiber of your being you hate it. No, I do, and I hate this fucking interaction mm -hmm. we're having right now. I don't enjoy getting fucking loud and heated and, and vitriolic Nobody with people. Nobody enjoys losing. Holy fuck, Paul. Like, there's enough people in the fucking chat that think you're losing right now. Get get out of That's here. That's why they call it, oh, dude, trust me, dude. The people in the chat don't get to decide that, but, Jamie. <laughs> oh, and you do? The, the, the people that came over Come and on. crawled all oh. fucking groggy out of the hopium Paul, den, dude. There are get to Paul, I have seen enough people in the <laughs> chat. Trust in, me. Like I, once again, dude, you're you're like the they're like the butt end of the human centipede. I, like Vosh is the front guy, right? He doesn't have to eat shit from anybody because at least he's smart enough to have his own opinions. You're the middle one, right? So you've got to you've got to eat shit. But the guy on the end, man, he's all he got, gets to do is eat shit, dude. All the oh. little hopium dinners in here, trust me, they don't, trust me. I have Jamie, seen don't enough get a fucking, people, I have, get it twisted. I have seen enough people in <laughs> TJ's chat say that you're wrong, who I've never f once before seen in my own chat, all right? But th that's neither here nor there, 
Okay. Paul decides he wins. Very objective. Yeah. Who are yeah, you, G-Man, professor? G Man wins. G Man wins. A goddamn, like, we're, like, you've always been pretty goddamn smart. When did you become a dumbass? Uh, see, anyone disagrees <laughs> with you and they're a dumbass. This is what I'm talking about, Paul. Someone disagrees what? with you, they're an idiot. They're a dumbass. No, you're an idiot, though. Holy fuck. TJ disagrees with me, and he's not an idiot, so I just proved you wrong. But you're an idiot, though. Yeah, because you have some modicum of respect for TJ. Well, I would have some modicum of respect for you if you were half the fucking individual and in, independent don't know thinker me. that TJ is. You don't fucking know me, Paul. I do. Well, I know you from your content. You barely know my content. You even said that you come in for a few minutes and then you leave because, oh my God, this is so stupid. You were plenty proud to trade off of my name back when it was working for you, but now that I'm not, you know, I don't know you, right? You... Holy fuck, Paul. Uh, 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 holy fuck. I oh, have Paul a stutter. Paul just hit pa me with another one. Holy fu I have a stutter, Paul. You're going to keep making fun of that? Holy shit. I'm not making fun of your stutter. I'm making fun of your constant, like, uh, everything I say astonishes you somehow. Like it's getting old. Like it's getting real fucking lame. Cause Could you please act? Because like, stop acting like everything I've said is the most astonishing word that a man has ever uttered. Thanks. <sighs> it's a little off-putting in conversation. Yeah, well, you're a little off-putting in conversation. Oh, well, I am so there's, sorry. There's How can clearly, I make myself more inclusive? There's clearly no. Yeah, you're not very inclusive, and you know you're trying to p p push a political movement, but you literally even said you How don't many care trans about people are on your mod team. What? How many trans people are on your mod team? A bunch. Most of my fucking audience is trans. How many? I how many? I don't want a bunch. I want numbers. I don't. I know numbers of my mod team. I know how many mods I have. How I don't many know. Five or you six. You, you you realize that I have the same amount of people that are trans openly on my mod team. And. But I'm not inclusive though, right? Because I disagree that, with you oh, as a trans. What person. I said is you're not interested in being uh, inclusive to other. You're not interested in 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 pulling people over. You even said that That's earlier. Why trans people are just overrepresented in my you don't mod structure, convince right? Like you don't want to convince people of your positions. You're fine with with being super off-putting and 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 turning people off of your positions because it's not about your positions. It's about your emotions. It's about you're mad. Paul is mad. Paul is mad because the DNC done fucked him over. Paul is mad because he voted for Obama and that was you're a not. waste of a fucking vote. You're not. I'm you're mad, not mad about yes, that. Yes, I'm mad too, but I don't get so mad that I uh, that, that that I I get blind from rage and say, oh, I'm not voting. Fuck the whole system. Like earlier on your stream when you were grabbing your mic and screaming into it and shit. Yes, I get mad sometimes, Paul. You get mad. What are you? You were just criticizing me for getting mad sometimes. So what? You get mad all the time. You don't fucking me? care about fucking having dialogues with people. I see you, I dude. Do. You were fucking telling people when when you were arguing with me. People that were agreeing with me that that you're not gonna read their comments anymore and oh ban this person. Fuck these. Make like, a business out of having you dialogue ban with people who dipshit. disagree with you, just for disagreeing what? with you. TJ disagrees with me all the fucking time. I make a I make a business out of having dialogue with people. But again, you you respect TJ. You don't respect the people in your chat. I don't because people earn respect from me. It's not something that I give freely as like a gift to everybody. You don't give people you a, don't a, a baseline of you don't respect. Have a position of your own. See, that's the difference between me and you, Paul. I try to give people a baseline of respect because well, I, that's dumb. Why? Because respect. You ever you ever heard respect is earned? Sure, not given like, freely. Uh uh. uh I, I don't necessarily, I think we should be respectful to other people in society in general. I think we should try to be respectful to, uh, of people. Yeah. I don't think we that's should a, be respectful to respectful people in respectful why, environments why, why, and why not having be, respectful why, conversations. Why not be respectful to disrespectful people and then catch them off guard? You were guard screaming like and, a fucking, you were screaming your head off at me before this even started. The, only, the whole reason this started is because you were screaming your head off at me. Yeah, because and now I, you're trying to tone police me and say I scroll. Oh, get out of here! You were tone scream. policing me the other day. Oh, Jamie has a school teacher's tone, and she talks like that. Get the you, fuck you out kinda of here! You kind of do. Yeah. You do kind of sound like you're scolding people when you get all self righteous and shit. Okay, I, I have to. I think you sound like that too. I think you sound like you're scolding people damn, all the damn time. I know time. you are, but what am I? No, I. Holy fuck. <sighs> Whatever. This has not been productive in the slightest. I, you're not good at the ponage shit, and you're not good at the drama shit, unless it's something that you can curate on your channel. So you might want to get out of that business. You're not good at the politics shit because you can't justify your positions with anything other than vagaries. I have justified um, so do my you want to get to the question at hand before we went down this road? What my real problem with you is? 
What what is it, Paul? I I don't. You're a hanger on. Okay. You're a leech. You always have been. You still are. You don't have the intellectual fortitude to read books and come up with your own positions. And you believe that you deserve some fucking baseline respect from me when you've done nothing to earn it. Because all you do is parrot people. So keep your cold takes and shit out of my shit and I'll keep my takes out of yours. I haven't come, and, uh, I haven't come into your shit with cold takes. I, I cold keep, takes. keep my name I, out of your mouth though. Cause if I hear you talked about me again, then I'll just do it again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I, I don't plan to engage with you again anytime fucking soon, Paul. All right. You're all right. A, you're well, a keep waste. my name out of your mouth. You're a waste of my fucking people, time. You're a waste of my time and energy. I, I wanted to do a nice chill stream tonight and uh, hang out with you, my fucking chat. And I got to deal with fucking Paul's ego thinking he's the arbiter of fucking everything. You were doing a fucking show about Paul's ego, dumbass. No, and I you wasn't. actually got a chance I, to talk to me directly I and you're acting the, like it was some imposition I on gave you. What the, a fucktard. I gave the stream a random title. I called it Cutting the Salt because I thought, hey, I'll talk about that yeah, a little oh, bit. Oh, that had nothing to do on. with me, right? Yeah, dude, that that I did, it did me. have something to do with you because you kind of pissed me oh, off it did? last night. It did? Oh, okay. A little bit, but it, I'm saying... I, uh, a little, little bit. Holy like just fuck. a dash of salt. That doesn't, doesn't mean, mean I wanted to spend the whole night talking about you or or to you. I wanted. You to... No, I wouldn't. Have. Would have anyway. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I, dude, the, 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 to be quite honest with you, Jamie, you should be thanking me and TJ for giving you a platform that's above and beyond your station. You shouldn't My be acting station. like tonight was See an that, you, you act like you're bore. fucking superior to me. Like like, like you are are entitled no, to, I'm trying to, to, to give to you be business some... advice because you you claim to want to be a podcaster and you don't want to listen to it because you're all self righteous. I'll thank TJ. You don't go thank... on somebody else's platform and act like you were it was an imposition to you. Because I... if I were TJ, I would listen to that shit and I'd be like, well, check Jamie Darkey off the list of T people I'm going to have back on again. TJ asked me multiple times. All she does is bis about getting platforms tj so. came in my chat tj came in my chat multiple times and asked me to have this discussion with you i didn't yeah, want did, to because and you said yes because I, you're a fucking climber you're a social climber and you came in here so i got again really really fucking steamrolled see, in front of everybody so I, I'm, and now you're salty about it and you want to act like it was all a waste of your time well fuck off then damned if you do <sighs> damned if you don't right <sighs> if i don't come on i'm a coward if i come on i'm i'm a, I'm a leech and a hanger on get the fuck out no of here, i dude. actually if you go back and listen to the stream that i happen to be doing tonight where they made me aware that you were streaming about me that i started before you started streaming i said the smart thing for jamie to do would be to tell tj no thank you and keep going with her stream and you can quote me on that and go back and check it. It's right there on the record. Yeah, well, maybe I was a uh, maybe I didn't do the best judgment in coming on here, but everyone in my chat no, it really said was, I should. It was, no, it was my, it was my not wife, just uh, not the best my judgment. Wife this was a real piss poor here. judgment. No, Paul. no, you know what? I think I did a get pretty good decent job of holding my own against you, Paul, especially since you're way more fucking practice at this than I am. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. I thought my age and uh, wisdom and experience didn't matter. You're, you're more experienced at this. I said just you pulling rank on me because of your age and saying you're not allowed to talk about this because I'm older well, than you and you I know more. You just me more experienced at this, so doesn't that give me but rank you on you? You have more experience as a content creator. Doesn't that mean that you a... should like oh. listen to me when I give you advice and shit, not shit all over me and not shit on my friend on his show? Shit on, who did I, I didn't shit on TJ. Yeah, you did. You came on and you started acting like you were all bored and it was some big imposition and a big waste of no, Jamie I, Darkey's precious time no, to come I, here and get quadruple the views she normally gets. I said you and me arguing. You should has say been you should be gracious to your host and say thank you. Our argument has been a waste of time. Thank you, TJ, for uh, dra bringing more attention to me and getting me more subscribers and shit. But uh, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, me and you have gotten nowhere. So yeah, it feels kind of like a waste us of time. To get anywhere, that's why I said before I started this, if Jamie Darkey yeah, is well, smart, I guess I'm a little. She will say no. I guess I'm just too goddamn charitable. I I I realized this earlier. Like I'm just too charitable. Ch charitable with you. Yes, yes. I've given you the benefit of the doubt. I've I've had uh, differences of opinion with you and be like, you know what? I understand where Paul's coming from. He's a good dude. He's not malicious. He doesn't have in the ill intent. But you, on the other hand, are are, are doing the exact opposite to me. So yeah, I'm done. So on the other hand other than Paul what okay whatever this is this I mean I don't even know what your I don't even know what the contention was uh, anyway all right was that your leaving moment <laughs> was that your sign off for the evening <sighs> whatever I uh <laughs> man whatever I, I don't know what I could say that could that that, 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 that could end this with any kind of like so yeah whatever I don't care there's gonna be no saving it saving it okay no salvaging it. g-man wins paul always wins yo 
Uh, whatever. I mean, like, all right. I'm well, uh, I think we've uh, <laughs> I think we've gone over everything that could possibly be said. Thank you. I TJ. think that they've I think they've unloaded. Thank you. <laughs> I think they've unloaded at each other as much as possible. So uh, I think that they're going to go their separate close. ways now. She got twenty five percent. She got twenty five percent tonight. Twenty five percent. Twenty five. That wasn't even an unload. That was a quick test fire at the range. So Paul, according to Paul, not uh, unloading at this time, but we'll, it was just we'll a see. maintenance test fire after you know cleaning the weapon. Um, anyway, nice, I'm gonna go ahead and kick both of them off now. So uh, the is there's there's no uh, after sniping. They can do that on their own streams if they want. But, uh, <laughs> Peace. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for providing an entertaining discussion slash argument, even if you, uh, it probably wasn't productive by anyone's standard not even a little bit well yeah my pleasure it was fun bye y'all i think it was me. more productive than it seemed to be by the way I, I i have we'll contention see. with this idea that it was not productive well I think you can elucidate that on your productive. ideology channel if you wish but we're not doing it here so bye everybody bye. <sighs> holy fuck guys holy fuck <laughs> what the fuck was that conversation Holy shit. <laughs> she knew you would act like a man child, Paul, because you are a man child. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Holy fuck. Yeah, no, I have been incredibly charitable towards Paul, and maybe Paul hasn't seen my charitability towards it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. All right? I'm. <sighs> Holy fuck. Jamie, you handled this extremely well despite the verbal abuse from Paul. Well, thank you. I uh, I appreciate that. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Whew. That was uh that was not fun. <laughs> that was I did not enjoy that. Um yeah, whatever. I realize Paul has more followers than me. Paul has more, you know, people that are likely to to take his side. But, uh, yeah, anyone who takes my side is uh, automatically just from my own audience. Oh, whatever. You should have said no. Dude, when, when you've got – when you got the amazing atheist in your fucking uh, uh, chat being like, come on, come on, I'll set this up right now, and you got everyone telling you, yeah, you should do this. Go on, do it, Jamie. You know, I, I kind of thought, yeah, you know what, why, why, why not? Maybe I could – I honestly was hoping I could have a more productive conversation with Paul. I was hoping that I could maybe like uh, th that we could maybe reach some common ground, but it's uh it's very clear this is this is not what uh Paul is interested in 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 doing. It's very clear Paul Paul is not interested in in making inroads or, you know, any of that. Holy fuck. Wait, what? I, I don't know. <laughs> Whew. Okay, guys. Holy shit. Uh, are you finishing up now or is there a wind down? Guys, <laughs> like I said, I just wanted to chill with y'all tonight. Tonight wasn't meant to be a chill. Whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have put cutting the salt in my fucking... Uh, title, but I, I was trying to come up with a title and I, I don't, I'm not good at coming up with titles for these streams. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be talking about Paul a little bit. Yeah, I'll put that in the title. Uh, holy shit. I owe Galen an apology for defending Paul. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Look, I got my issues with Galen. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I do think Paul was a little uncharitable to Galen as well. Congrats, congrats on demolishing him on the no confidence thing. I don't know that I demolished him, but I feel like I did a pretty good job at holding my own and putting my positions forward. And again, uh, uh, <laughs> why would you volunteer to bash your head against a wall of salt? I, I, I really don't know, guys. I really don't know. Who cares anyway what's wrong with indulging in a little drama every now and then? Yeah, no, I, I love how I'm, I'm meant to be like, oh, you're a piece of shit because you're a drama streamer. And by the way, see, if I was a drama streamer, I would have mentioned Ben's name at some point during that fucking thing and been like, whatever. 
I would ask Paul why the fuck he's not talking about it. If, 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 uh, <laughs> if, if he thinks, oh, I'm just a drama channel and why am I talking about, why aren't you talking about it? Why aren't you giving a platform to victims? I'm a drama street. I don't want to be engaged in drama. I'm not interested in it. I hate it. I hate it. It's stressful talking to abuse victims and, and listening to their stories and, and dealing with the constant fucking attacks on that shit. Like, holy fuck. And throughout this whole thing, it's been extremely fucking hard. And now I got to deal with And I'm not trying to play the victim here. Whatever. I, I can handle it, okay? I'm just saying I don't enjoy having to now fucking uh, deal with this shit from Paul. Like, you have political disagreements with me? Fine. But no, I, I think Paul... See, see, I think that's the thing. See, Paul views my, uh, 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 my Ben streams as me trying to be a leech and trying to just, you know, clout chase. Because that's that's what a lot of people that's that's the defense that, that, that that's the line of attack that a lot of people use, is that oh Jamie's just a fucking clout chaser, and that's the, that's the easy fucking uh, attack on me. Again, I don't talk about this shit constantly. When I did my fucking Ben stream a month and a half ago, I I went like three or four weeks without fucking talking about it at all because I didn't want to rush shit. I didn't want to you know jump the gun on anything. Which, by the way, for any of y'all who are new, go check out my fucking interviews. Because th those are actually important. Those were actually fucking productive streams. Alright? The fact that Paul has no baseline respect for his fellow human being is kind of sad. But he is a doomer. Yeah, whatever. I used to hold that position as well. But like, why should I respect anyone else? No, fuck you. We need to fucking uh, have, a, have a level of respect for our fellow humans. Yeah. Yeah. We need to be respectful to fucking people. Yeah. All right. Holy fuck. I, I love how respect and inclusion and acceptance are, are fucking uh, contentious topics now. This is controversial. That Yeah, let's be respectful to each other. Holy fuck. I think it's disrespectful to ignore the fact that there, that, that there are some people who feel excluded from pride because they're not comfortable with the fucking uh, overt sexual nature of some of the events, not even all of them. And I don't have a problem with some people saying like, yeah, you know, maybe we need to work on more inclusivity. But whatever, I, I know people have their own takes on that and that's fine, okay? I, I'd like to go to a Pride event this summer, and hey, maybe if I go there and I'm like, oh, actually, may maybe I'll change my position. Again, I never wanted to take that position super fucking hard. I was never trying to, like, die on this hill, all right? Um, I, 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 I thought Vosh had a lot of good points. That's it, okay? I, I, I could hear arguments for uh, against it, but honestly, Paul's arguments don't really fucking... Uh, do anything for me. Read a book, Jamie. Yeah, I, I even said, yeah, recommend a book and I'll read it. What is it? He's like, oh, you're averse to reading books. But I never fucking said that. What book do you want me to read, dude? Yeah, I was disappointed that Paul resorted to using trans people as a bragging right or some sort of commodity. Yeah, that's a little weird. I, I don't know. Dude, Paul, he even, like, like I said... He, on his stream the other night, he fucking was like, uh, he was like, wasn't Jamie kind of transphobic before she came out as trans a year ago? That's kind of weird. Why should Jamie talk about this shit? And then talking about his experiences. What about my experiences as a, as a closeted trans person my whole life? My experiences don't mean anything. I'm not allowed to have my own perspective on why maybe I felt a little alienated from pride in the past. Holy fucking shit, guys. Even aside from that, like, uh, uh, I don't know. Holy fuck. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he was trying to get at there. Who has more trans mods? Like, wh what? Yeah, fine. You're inclusive to trans people. Great, Paul. Very fucking nice. I have, a co I have a community that's full of trans people because th th there's a lot of trans people that actually feel safe um, interacting in my community. And, 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 you know, they feel like this is a safe place to be themselves. And, and you know, we promote transness here. We're very pro. Like, yeah. 
I try to have my, my community be a, a, a safe haven for trans people, which is why I added rule. By the way, the, the reason I added rules to my chat is because as I'm getting bigger and as more people are finding my fucking streams, I'm getting more and more trolls. And honestly, I, uh, I'd rather just have clear cut rules. In fact, someone asked me a few weeks ago, Hey, what are the rules for this chat? And I didn't really have any. And I was just like, eh, just be respectful. But I thought about it more, and I was like, yeah, you know what? And yeah, I got that idea from Paul. Holy shit. I love Paul trying to call me out for, oh, you got this take from Vosh, and you got this opinion from me. Yeah, we're influenced by other people. No one comes to a position in a vacuum. There are a shit ton of, uh, of, of... There are a shit ton of, 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 uh... Fuck, what was I saying? What was I saying? God damn it. Um. Oh, oh. Um. Yeah, a lot of people come to positions based on, uh, you know, influences from other people. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> Paul created leftism, though. Karl Marx was a clout chaser. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Okay, guys. Well... That was a fucking stream. Holy fuck. Yeah, Paul is really fucking toxic. Paul is extremely fucking toxic. And, y you know, I I've, I've realized this more and more. Like, when, back when I watched Paul, I, I was more toxic. Back when I agreed with all of Paul's dumb fuck takes, and I was a fucking little doomer, I was way more fucking toxic. And I'm glad I got out of that shit. And I'm glad that there's uh, people in my chat who have, uh, you know... Listen to my message of hope and optimism and not being such a doomer, not being so pessimistic and cynical about every goddamn thing. And I've been like, yeah, that actually makes sense. I'm glad that I'm able to at least pull some people over on that area because I don't think what Paul does is healthy. I don't think his ideology is healthy. I don't think his, uh, his, his, his community is healthy. I think a lot of people in his community wallow in their own fucking depression. And I, and I think it's, it's, it's really cringe. And uh, I, I'd like to see people, um, you know, uh, uh, be better, want to better themselves, be better fucking people, not just wallow in our own fucking misery. <sighs> he brought up the name of the show like it was some sexist shit. That was so, yeah, what, I, and, and I was even trying, see, that's my charitability there. I was trying to engage with that uh, criticism in good faith. And then he's like, oh, I'm just trolling you. What? This is why I don't know when to take fucking Paul seriously or not. So I've just decided I don't take Paul seriously anymore. I don't take Paul seriously anymore. And uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just done. I'm done. All right. Holy fuck. I don't know. I'm just a depressive person. So I definitely gravitate towards Paul's type of content. I did too. Because I was a really depressed. I'd suffer from... Uh, 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 clinical depression. I suffer from an anxiety disorder. I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. I, I have a lot of mental health issues. And over the years, y y you know, I, yeah, I have gravitated more and more towards people who, uh, <clears throat> towards people who have that message and who are clearly very pessimistic and cynical and depressed themselves. And, um, you know, I, I, uh, I, I found honestly that when I would watch Paul, all I would do was kind of cycle and spiral in the depression. And, um, I would, I would have like the most cynical doomer takes. And if anyone came to me with like the slightest, oh, well, this is something good that we could do. I'd be like, yeah, here's why it's probably going to go to shit. Here's why this is probably bullshit. Like, holy fuck. Like, it's not healthy. And I've seen a lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people from Paul's community. I don't think Paul realizes the effect he has on his community. I've talked to people who are like, yeah, you know what, Paul, his, I really did. I'm not the only one who was cycling and spiraling uh, uh, while I was part of Paul's community. I'm not the only one. I've talked to a number of fucking people. 
who have realized, yeah, that that was super toxic. And I'm glad to be able to get some other perspectives. Holy fuck. Yeah, I get a lot of perspectives from Vosh. Because I think he's very fucking, uh, very fucking intelligent in a lot of areas. Oh no, I couldn't come up with a bunch of disagreements I have with Vosh on the spot. So therefore, I'm, I'm, I'm a sycophant. Oh, yeah, here, what do you... Okay, hi, hi. Okay, so my big one thing was that him saying that Jamie has never given him credibility. I will say, Jamie has given Paul's credibility to the point where I'm like, why the fuck are you saying this? Like, the night that he was yelling at Jamie saying that... um. Uh, that she supports a rapist because of Joe Biden. She was like, I think Paul's taking me serious as a real creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unironically, unironically, when that, that night when Paul lost his shit on me, I was like, you're a rape apologist, Jamie. I was like, I, I, maybe if I give Paul the benefit of the doubt, he's not actually attacking me. M maybe he's just, uh, yeah, maybe he just wants to challenge me as a fellow content creator. He wants me to stand up for myself and make an argument back and, and prove myself in some way. Or, you know, I don't know. I, I even had the thought in my head, maybe Paul is low-key trying to direct some attention to me because he, he believes in what I'm doing, uh, 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 speaking out against Ben, but he can't do so himself. You know, I, I, little, I tried to come up with, th there's got to be a reason Paul's doing this other than just acting in bad faith. And I realize now that no, no, Paul just is a, <laughs> he's just a salty boy who, uh, gets really spiteful and angry and overly emotional uh, uh, towards people he disagrees with, and it's sad. And and I'm just done engaging with it. Like, yeah. Like, Holy fuck, this stream has gone... Uh, did you make dinner, by the way? Or do we have to go somewhere? Okay. All right, that's fine. No, no, I was just wondering, because I'm fucking starving right now, and I did not mean to stream as late as I did. Um, holy shit. All right, guys. Um, whew, I guess that's a fucking stream. Uh, hey, Jamie, I'm really curious about that stuff. Vosh, uh, about Vosh talking about violence or something. Look, I, I feel like Vosh is kind of, and, and I, I feel like Vosh is kind of like, uh, uh, implicated some things. I, I think Vosh is kind of like, I, I don't think it's like, let me get this clear like i i don't take a hard stance against it i just I, I think vosh has like made some insinuations here and there some very vague insinuations that i i don't think are uh, uh very productive and and i like his overall like oh like lefties need to arm ourselves and we need to get guns and shit i i've not really been a huge fan of that though i kind of do see where he's coming from there i i just kind of I'm not pro-gun, all right? I'm just not a pro-gun person. I don't like guns. Um, but look, I was, <laughs> I'll admit, I was kind of struggling there to come up with a disagreement that I had with Paul, with Vosh. Because I, look, I don't have a lot of disagreements with Vosh. Every once in a while he says something I disagree with. But like, I, I just, uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Because I think Vosh is correct about a lot of the fucking takes that he has if that makes me a sycophant then fine i'm a sycophant but even if i am i feel like i present my ideas or the ideas that i steal from vosh in my own ways i don't just parrot vosh i i, I try to present my uh, opinions that i hold in, in in my own way and you know what someday i might move past vosh and i might be like you know what i uh i i i don't think uh i don't uh I don't uh, 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 think some of Vosh's takes are, are agreeable anymore. But right now, like where I'm at, I can Yeah, I agree with a lot of Vosh's takes. I, I just do. If that makes me a... And you know what? Maybe I got a little too defensive on that. And I was trying to come up with something on the spot to like be like, okay, here's something I disagree with. But yeah, I... I, I, I don't know. I honestly, uh, I don't care. I don't need to sit and, and uh, 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 explain my fucking agreements with Vosh. I feel like he makes really uh, uh, well put arguments. I just do. I, I His arguments make sense to me. If I learn more, 
and I get to the point that uh uh I get to the point where I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I I I no longer agree with Vosh on these things, then I'll fucking tell you guys. I don't pretend not to agree with Vosh on most things. I think Paul's just salty because I don't agree with him on everything anymore. I think he's salty that someone that used to be part of his community is is now uh, advocating for a lot of positions that uh, 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 Vosh advocates for, and he doesn't like Vosh. So I think Paul goes out of his way to, like, attack me specifically on that because he doesn't like Vosh. He is older than you, so he is correct. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pff, dude, I, I'll be honest. My, 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 my personal position, and I was gonna say this earlier, but Paul kept interrupting me. My personal opinion is that once a, a, a person, and and it doesn't matter what age they reach, once someone reaches an age where they uh suddenly decide that they know it all and that they don't need to uh, listen to, to uh, uh, the opinions and experiences of anyone younger than them, that's when I think uh, uh, that, that that person becomes pretty much useless to society. Yeah, yeah. Once you get to the point where you won't listen to the, to the uh, uh, experiences and opinions and takes of people that are younger than you because I'm older and I know what I'm talking about and I've been around longer than you, I say you can pretty just fuck off out of society. You're not, you're not uh, uh, helping, all right? And honestly, in general, Paul being like, I've been a leftist longer than you. Yeah, and what have you accomplished in your lifetime? Step aside, old man. All right? It's time for the young people to take over. Because it's us that's going to have to live in this shit. I know Paul's not actually a boomer, but he calls himself one and acts like one. So step aside. Stop pulling rank on people because of your fucking age. That's fucking ridiculous. And then when I tried to say, you know, yeah, you're you're a little more experienced than me in this YouTube shit and this uh, online, you know, arguing shit. He's like, oh, so my experience does matter. Oh, my God. Your experience in this specific area, yes, it's relevant, but your overall, well, I'm older than you. I'm just older than you. And yeah, you might have had more experiences in LGBT uh, or, or leftism, whatever. That's fine. But that doesn't mean that young people don't have, uh, uh, can't have new ideas. That doesn't mean that, 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 that you can't listen to someone younger than you. Like, I, I, I'm, I really hate that attitude. Holy fuck. Yeah, he did a lot of bad faith tactics. A lot of really disingenuous. See, I love it. Oh, you say bad faith now. Bad faith, bad faith. Yeah, I used to call people disingenuous. Like, it, sometimes uh, 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 it's hard to find words to express your ideas. And then when you hear a, a, a different word that you feel expresses your uh, an idea better, then you use that word more. And because it's being more used in, in our society, like, uh, yeah, I... I, I I talk about, no, but Paul is extremely disingenuous. Anyway, yeah, I am going to go eat. I am, holy shit, I'm really fucking tired, guys. Thank you all, uh, everyone who, uh, everyone who's new, everyone who came and checked this shit out. Thank you for uh, joining. Please subscribe and uh, go check out my other streams where uh, I interview uh, uh, some of the victims of uh, Ben from the Drunken Peasants, who is a, uh, a, a serial abuser from my estimation, and who has uh, 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 ve very likely, allegedly, uh, engaged in date rapey behavior. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that needs to be talked about, all right? And since there's more people fucking paying attention to my channel right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, draw some attention to that because I, I think it's important. Um, but, yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, subscribe, like, share, all of that shit, uh, join my Discord, uh, follow me on Twitter, consider becoming a patron for only $2 a month, gets you access to all my fucking patron shows, uh, <laughs> including ones that I've had TJ on, and ones where I, I go back and literally, uh, criticize my old takes and my old content, because I believe in, uh, uh, being self-critical, and, uh, you know, being being honest and, and examining your your past failures and mistakes. Um 
So yeah, guys, don't know if you can see, but I got you something on Amazon. Well, thank you very much, Elena Fox. I really do appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who donated. I, I wasn't able to thank them uh, throughout the stream uh, because I was in the middle of something. Thank you, Hyun, for the five dollars. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Stakem, for the ten dollars. And uh, yeah, thank you, ev everyone else. Oh, and thank you, Graham Dolph, for the five dollars. Thank you, everyone else, for your support. I love you all. Thank you so much uh, uh, for for watching and all of that shit, interacting. I love y'all. All right. Uh, uh, hell's yeah. We'll see y'all next time. Uh, probably tomorrow for a, a very chill stream. Uh, a no drama stream. I will make that rule. There will be no drama tomorrow. All right. Peace out and have a great night, guys.